All right, hello everyone. Today I am joined by a bunch of other custom range blaster players, and that by that I mean a, a zap player, a bucket player, a retired player, and I mean I'm just I'm just a coach. So, yeah, but it's close enough. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be ranking all of the subs and specials that custom range blaster could get, and talking about if we want them or not. We'll rank all of our opinions together and stuff like that. So, uh, why don't I let everyone here introduce yourselves for those who don't know who these people are? Uh, Gray, who are you? <laughs> Uh, hello, I'm, uh, I've been a player uh, since Platinum 1, pretty much. I've been playing comp, and I recently started playing Range Blaster, and I got my uh, highest XP with it, uh, 3500 recently, with Range Blaster. But pretty much all of my life in Splatoon, I've been playing support, but uh, I've really been enjoying this weapon so much, like, it's probably my favorite weapon ever, like, since I've started playing. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to... Uh, to talk about it today. Okay, Kyo? Uh, I've been playing since S1 as well. I played um, I played Race Blaster in that game, and then at the beginning of S2 when it came out, uh, I've played Bucket and Machine ever since. I've tried it in this game a bit, um, and I just kind of picked Machine instead because I'm kind of fake. I'm a fake Blaster player nowadays, but <laughs> I have a lot of experience with it anyway. And send you. Hello, hello. Yeah, I've been also playing range. Uh, Splatoon 1, I guess I had max ink with it. Uh, it was my main towards the end when people figure out, okay, this thing was pretty broken, so then everyone was playing it towards the end. And Splatoon 2 was my most played weapon as well. Mostly played it, uh, it was stronger at the start of the game's life cycle, and so I was playing it then. And then in this game, uh, I get my most played weapon. I don't know. It's quite, quite, quite nice in this game as well. So been, been playing it over other things. But yeah, I guess that's the short. Yeah. So with that being said, we're just gonna go in and rank it. Everyone will be given their little personal rating of every uh, option here from one through th from uh, zero through three, and then we'll just put everyone's scores together and see what ends up on top. So first off is Ink Mine. How do we like ink mine oh. on range blaster? <laughs> Dude, wait, just before starting, I'm just realizing like Sandu, Q and me, we've been playing against each other since fucking seven years, eight years. <laughs> I didn't realize that until now. Yeah, everyone knew um, it was Splatoon 1 vet. Yeah, we're all we're, we're all, all like old players. heads. What so. a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. Uh Ink Mine's gonna be it's gonna be like a one for me, honestly. I don't. I don't want it. I don't. I don't think it's gonna be as trash as it is, but it's gonna be a one for me. Just like I think it's not. It's not enjoyable, and I don't. I don't think it fits the weapons playstyle. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of it either. I'd probably also give it a one. I get it. It's like okay if you get map control set up because it, 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 the strong hit of mine combos pretty well with it. But if you're like locked out, it's so useless for it, and that happens a lot with blaster. Yeah. Agreed. It's the one. Only good if you're holding. Terrible if you're losing. And send it? That's what. That's like a solid four right <laughs> off the bat. <laughs> no, it's uh, sorry. It's it's still April Fool's Day for one hour here, so I had to get mm. it out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think one is one of those things. I see that in trailer, I'm just shutting that shit off, and I'm not watching the rest of it. So, All right. I, I just want to give it to zero, like to get it in limited, because <laughs> why not? Like, no why way. Not? Yeah, no way, Rose. Right? That's kind of where I think it'd be, it'd be right. Like, it's not yeah. the worst thing it could get, but it's like kind of close. Mm -hmm. Uh, next up is Splat Bomb. Uh, I think Splat Bomb is like, I mean, it's it's just a bit better than the suction bomb it has right now to me, because I don't think that it's nice to be able to roll it near you to force people to get away from you. It can help out a bit with spacing if they're trying to rush you, especially against shooter players. It's still a little bit ink hungry, but I mean it's bomb and paint free special, you can do everything. Like it has to be a like a two or a three for me, with three being highest. So I'd probably I mean I'd probably just give it a three. I there's only a few things that are better than it, and I don't think it's fine. Yeah. Much. I'm giving it a three as well. Like the only downside of this is um the Ink efficiency, but since pretty much everyone, like you're probably running comeback anyway to help with this. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, I don't know. Like the downside isn't really too big. I'm giving it a three personally. 
Three is highest, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, probably just three. I think the only thing I could perceive that maybe feels better and a really lame way is maybe burst bomb. Oh, we're going to get to but, that. <laughs> yeah. But, like, that's just glorified stamper with AoE, I would feel like. Mm-hmm. But, and it, it, it's legendary as well. Like, I mean, the best kit of the weapon ever, it's like on Spartan 1 with Splat Bomb, and it was legendary back then. So even yeah. even if it's not the most optimal, I would still want it on my on the weapon in Spartan 3. Like, it's just uh, yeah, legendary. Sender, are you a Splat Bomb fan as well? You all want it back? Yeah, yeah, but, but I, I think I'm going to go with 2, actually, because my reasoning is this. Like, the first kit already has suction. So you already have the bomb. So I'm, I'm just thinking, like, if they put splat bomb on it, I'm just afraid that okay, like, then they're gonna be like, well, we put splat bomb on it. This is too strong, and then they're gonna put like, I don't even want to say what special they're gonna put to it at that point. <laughs> like, for like the, mm. probably like the. Yeah, they would. They would want to balance the kits this way. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't I hate splat bomb hammer, but I would like something better. But I guess we have to talk about hammer later, huh? Okay. Yeah. I mean, Splat Bomb's pretty obvious. What about Point Sensor? Point Sensor's, I think, a little bit more interesting. Who wants... Uh, Akio, why don't you start so, with this? You've played Machine okay, okay. a bit, so... Uh, do you think, you know, it works well with that, right? So would you say it's good here, too? I think if you can fill the rest of your comp with, like, other bombs and stuff, Sensor's great. And Range Blaster's main weapon itself is... good enough. Like... It's just like it can kind of function, do the same thing as bomb. So it's not like the worst candidate for sensor, but like if it gets anything remotely decent in terms of special, you're never getting it because you already barely get it as it stands now, and you have suction. So you're probably hitting three specials per game. There's ironically going to be matches where you get two. I mean, that's kind of how I see it too, right? It's like, if it has a really bad special that I'm not going to use, then it's kind of okay. I also think it's nice for Gambit, though, to be fair. That's kind of yeah. crazy with it, I think. Because range is already True. a pretty good Gambit weapon, I think. But with Sensor, you could, like, really keep Gambit going. I don't know. It's probably not so, worth it, but it'd at least be kind of fun. Yeah, in my opinion, like, the way I see it, like, sure, Gambit is great, like, if you have Sensor. But I feel like the best value of range blaster is when you have like QR or a comeback then. So the sensor doesn't really get as much value, especially as Kyo said, like, yeah, if you have a great special, then then sensor is not going to help. Uh, range blaster's best mode is like TC, so you, you want to bomb and stuff. Uh, and sensor, like, it's cheap, which is like the only thing going for it. But overall, doesn't help with damage, of course. I feel like the sub, like overall, is a bit underrated, but um, it's just not the weapon for it, I think. Yeah, like again, like if you're locked out, it's kind of like the mine to me. If you're locked out, you're just spamming sensors. You can't really get in. You can't really pa- pass away for yourself, um, and you're just you're just so limited, in my opinion. Like if it dealt a little more damage, like if it just dealt damage to people, uh, I would put it higher. But in my opinion, it's gotta be one or zero. Oh, I'd wow. say just one. I'd probably go with the one as well. Just because it's cheap. If it was uh, more expensive, I would say, okay, like zero, but I'll just give it one. Out of respect. Okay, are you also out of one? Or... Uh, you think it's even Yeah, worse? probably. Unless you can shoot like three times or something after like double center. I, I don't know the math in my head, but it uh, probably is no, one. Double center is 80 per... No, double center is 90%. Yeah, no, it's a one. <laughs> Depending on the special with it, because um, like if you're talking about like sensor, um, sensor missile, it's probably zero. But if you're talking about like sensor Zuka, then okay, like one. Yeah. Okay. And Sandu, any opposing thoughts, or you kind of with us on this one? Maybe I'd bump it up just a tiny bit. It's just like I'm looking at the other subs. Like there's a lot of the sub sides so just don't really personally like. I'd at least like to see how sensor plays out in range, because it, it does help with, uh, I think, like the one of the like the hardest thing for me at least to deal with range going like this, starting guys. So it's at least like in theory something against it, like realistically often not, but sometimes. And then, uh, I mean, for example, if you're playing situations where people have not dropped yet, 
then I, I do think sensor can be nice for those because for range, if you know where they are, there's like certain situations where if you know where they are, they just die straight up. Yeah, but I agree. if you if if you guess the wrong, then they can also punish that. So in, in that sense, if you know that they there's someone there, but you don't know like the exact position, then you could like maybe kite it out with a sensor. But it sounds a bit like I'm making stuff up. But I'm I'm still gonna like be a bit more optimistic and give like two. Okay. Put it up here. No, I I I agree with you. For me, it's like the same as ink mine really. Just like ink mine deals damage, but sensor you can really throw it far away. So. But yeah, in my opinion, it's really the same as Inkman. I think it's a little better, but yeah, if Sandy's going with the two, they'd be ranked here. All right. Uh, next up is Torpedo. I think Torp, personally, you know, number one Torp fan over here. Uh, <laughs> I think Torp would be great with it. You'd get three shots without comeback since it's a 65% sub. It's cheap. It can paint your feet instantly for movement. It's got a large outside hitbox you can combo with if you hit really close to the opponent, and unlike Burst Bomb, it doesn't get affected by sub-defenses badly either. So it's like, uh, it's got some Burst Bomb utility and some brand new utility. I think it's like incredibly stacked. It might be better than Spot Bomb for me. I'd, I'd give it an easy three. I think it's really, really strong. It has like a lot of different use cases, I think as well. Just locating people is nice. Uh, the cheaper sub, feet paint, combo, it kind of just does everything. Like nothing as well as like Burst Bomb combos, but I mean, you just have so much you can do with that. I feel like you'd always have uses for it. You know what? Like, when I thought about range rest kits, I never thought about Torpedo, like, ever. Like, like it wasn't even in the game. Like, when you talk about it, like, I'm just thinking about Kenza Rapid or just Rapid Deco. Yeah, it's like, and... it's like Rapid to me with this thing. Yeah, just and like, rapid. I'm just, I'm just thinking like, okay, like, I want to locate people, uh, I'm, I'm just going to throw the torpedo, I'm going to combo, uh, like, on, like, just rolling it on the ground. Or, yeah, it's cheap as well. Mm -hmm. Honestly, yeah, probably, probably a three, actually. Like, I, I was never thinking about it. Like, I was just, okay, let's just give me, give me spell bomb, you know, but... Torpedo would actually be great, I think. I think it'd be even Like, at, le at least interesting and fun, at least. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's just give it a three, then. Gao, you a torp fan? Um, I'm kind of wary of it, like, um, long range, it's going to be, like, OP, it'll be really good, mm -hmm. but I think getting rushed or up close, I would just like the, uh, what's the word am I looking for? Like the lethal like explosion? The, yeah, the lethal explosion a bit better, just be like, hey, it's like, you can't push me at all, and if you do, you'll die. I guess you could, like... In theory, like they get stuck and stuff, but I feel like it's a bit more easier to rush a torp weapon than to rush like something with spot bomb or burst. And at least throwing them on retakes and such. Like, yeah, they'll go off, you'll mark people, but you still probably won't build any meter if they're just getting shot down. And if you're rolling them, then like, yeah, you'll build meter, but then you don't mark anyone. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'll probably give it like a two. Like, it's very, it's really good for sure. And if I could give it like a, Decimal probably I'd give it like a two point eight or something, but like yeah, I'd go for it too. Okay. And Sandy? Yeah, I think like for me with Torpedo it was intense relationship in Splatoon 2. Before they nerf it, you could like spam it. Like that was when I was really into Torpedo. But I think I think uh most recently I think in this game for me because this order there is rapid and I know it's not it's not the same thing, that's true. It's just something that I personally like play, and I'm thinking like, how would see it in range? Like, I could see it, but it's kind of like the same thing. Like, I I kind of have to like make start like imagining things. I don't know. Like, I would be same as skill, like maybe like some decimal, but oh, like it's maybe crazy. maybe maybe I would still like put it at two because I I I can I can think of like the things I would rather have myself than than torpedo. So okay, still like good, but maybe two. All right, that would be a ten. Uh, next up is Toxic Mist. Uh, I'll be quick on this one. I don't like Mist on range at all. It's cheaper, but it provides no paint, it provides no location, it provides no damage. I don't like it at all. I would just rather have so many other things. It's not useless, but like I can't think of something Toxic Mist does where I'd like it over any of the sub. The only space I think it's really that good in is Rainmaker, and I don't really think it's Range Blaster's mode anyway. So I would give this like a straight zero. I I don't want it at all. I have no interest in this. Yes, 
Like, I mean, just looking at these subs, you could always make some cases. Like, yeah, like, Rain, like Toxic Miss is probably good in Rainmaker, so maybe you won. But, like, for sure, I wouldn't want it on my, uh, on my weapon. Honestly, I don't know. For me, it's going to be a zero, but it's probably, like, 0 0.8 again, <laughs> like, honestly. <laughs> I'll make a decimal system next time. <laughs> <laughs> because like yeah. you could always think like, okay, I'm just gonna mist and shoot the people in the mist so they can't escape and you can just, yeah, but then I just combo shoot them, them easily. Them but move anyway. yeah, exactly. <laughs> like it's it, it doesn't yeah. Especially with the buff. I feel like it's, even it's kind of far fetched. Like I'm not gonna lie. So just yeah. give it a zero anyway. Like anyway, mist is like just bad. Like in general, like overall on all weapons, it's not really so good. Like I play rapid pro, uh, rapid pro a lot with the mist and. Like I feel like it doesn't really do much, like the web, the sub weapon itself. So, yeah, yeah. The existence yeah. of rapid pro makes it like a full on zero, because mm -hmm. it just does that thing, but probably way better, and it's still not even that good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can choose rainmaker with it. I think that's like the one thing that people do with it. Like, okay, like here's like a sub that makes the mode even like a tiny bit worse even. But yeah, the same thing, like, come on, it's the one that's that in range, like, that would be, like, a easy zero for me. And I think the sub itself is maybe a different discussion. Maybe it's not, like, their most successful sub design. Dang, uh, no fans like, of the Toxic today. Yeah. Unfortunate. Okay. Next up is Autobomb. Uh, so Autobomb's, like, kind of similar to Torp for me, but, I mean, you don't have as much utility. But you do get the guaranteed location, and unlike the point Kyo was talking about, you don't have to worry about people shooting it down. You're going to get the guaranteed paint. I don't think it has as much utility as the other bombs, though. So I'd, I'd probably just give it, like, a 2. Like, it's it's a cheaper bomb, and it locates people, but I'm not really going to get as much out of it with the main weapon compared to the other bomb utility. It's fine. I think it's fine. Should I need to do any to go, or someone... Anyone can go. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'll give it to Solid 2 as well. The thing is, Auto Bomb, I've never really played uh, before. Like, um, as a sub weapon. Like, on all of my weapons, I never had, like, uh, an Auto Bomb. Like, Machine on S2, like, I know Kieran Sendu played it a little bit. Like, it, it had Auto Bomb. But it's like a worse torpedo, in my opinion. You don't get the instant uh, value out of it. And I feel like Range Rester can unuse it. So it's not bad, so I wouldn't give it a one, but it's not great. So I, I think just middle, just two. I played yeah, a I lot think... of. Oh, you go. Yeah, no, I was just gonna gonna like a a it uh, right? Like maybe like a maybe maybe like a two. Like for me, like the one nice thing is that like it's pretty cheap. So there's quite a few situations where okay, like I could do something, but my sub is so expensive, so I'll just end up kind of like not doing anything. But in some cases, like at, when I do play out the bomb, it's like okay, well, I can at least get like something off. Like I don't think it's like that useful, you know. But there's still like some utility at least, uh, like a che cheapness compared to like say like splat bomb and uh, I guess torpedo is like the closest fun to it. But like yeah, you, you get it like a bit faster. But I'm yeah, just, maybe like I'm just. I'm just imagining like myself fight with the auto bomb, and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna throw it. Like it's not bad to spam auto bombs, but you don't get the instant value. Like you don't have damage or instant location. So I just feel like with range raster, you you really need that because otherwise you're gonna get rushed up close or the damage is gonna come too late. Like they're gonna heal. So that that's just my reasoning. Yeah, uh, I was, I think the speed thing of the weapon is a big factor because I got um. On normal blaster or custom blaster S2, I don't remember which one it was. Uh, it was great, yeah, just like to throw them out before like jetpack and stuff. Because you just like okay, instant value, and then now I go with like my pack or I just rush them because my weapon's like really fast and it was really overtuned at the time. But I feel like range needs something a bit more fast acting than auto bomb. I guess it maybe as well if it like. If it got like a jetpack type special or something like that, it would feel nice. But otherwise, I don't think it's that great. Will you also go with It's like two? good enough. Yeah, I'll go with two. Okay. All right. That's a pretty fair ranking. Well, let, let's skip over this for now. You know, we'll, we'll lightning round <laughs> this up in a row. Okay. Uh, let, let's, let's skip over to Burst Bomb, the big one of the discussion. Uh, 
I, I think Gray, probably, Gray and Sendu have a lot to say on this one that's positive, and I think me and Kyo are going to be a bit more critical. So, and okay. let's, let's start positive with Gray. Okay. Uh, well, Burst Bomb, uh, in my opinion, it's going to be a 3. So, the reason uh, I say it's a 3 is, again, because you have the instant damage, you have the instant clear, you have the instant anything. But, of course, you don't have damage up. So, it can really kind of screw your weapon over. Because I know, like, on Splatoon 1, uh, Grim Blaster was used a lot, and you had damage up. So, you could really just combo a lot with the Burst Bomb. You probably can't do that anymore in S3, not as consistent, probably. But yeah, I, I just can't useful. see how the uh, burst bomb is, like, you guys are saying you're critical of it. I, I didn't know that. I, I don't see how you could put it below uh, the splat bomb or a torpedo. In my opinion, it's, it's a three. I, I, it's like top top two sub, at least, in my opinion. Hmm. I, I don't like it's it's very cliche like to say that, but I, I don't know. It, I, I feel like it's just so good with it, like just for movement, like for anything. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. You want to go? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I would be positive as well. So it's uh, always been distinct playstyle to me, Grim, in all, like all of the games. That uh, I would say it was never for me the strongest kit, but it was something that okay, this is like distinct, like this is fun. I'll like I'll play this because this is like something different. It's still without damage up. You're not gonna be comboing people, but I still do like it. Like also like for the things that Cray mentioned, but also like mobility. You know, like. In some some cases, like I, I wish, like I had, I had something like, like like quickly paint my feet or quickly paint the wall or something like yeah, the wall stuff. exactly. Yeah, so like it's 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 like with the range, it's just like so sluggish weapon. So that's why I always like with burst is that you get a bit more like okay, now I can actually like move around and and you know even like take more acro positions fast and stuff like that. And then it's more like okay, maybe maybe the sub itself like when you stack against players is it's fine. Like I, I think with range, it's not maybe as strong as some other weapons. Like it's not really like you know, for me like a splash situation where it makes the kit. But I was like with a three because it's like a distinct play style, and I, I do think like we saw in two games that it, it can like provide a pretty fun play style. Yeah. Yeah, like to to follow up with Sandu, like I personally never played Green Blaster, but I just know like I, I just see myself throwing a suction bomb on on like a big wall too often. And I, like, of course, with the burst bomb nerf, uh, it makes it kind of worse than it would be normally. But burst bomb is just so good, I think, for movement. Just so much more freedom for the weapon. So uh, it's only positive for me. Okay. Kyo, you want to go next? Uh, yeah. I think okay, because I'm like a big numbered nerd guy when I when I play like all my gear and stuff. If I fought this gun, I'm just putting on like two subs of bomb defense and like destroying the oh. combo completely <laughs> and just like <laughs> rushing it at every point. Unless they double burst me. But like outside of that, I think it would just be hard, harder to do the combo stuff on. But like the movement and stuff is great. And because I don't know how consistent hitting like 65 plus is on every blaster shot because again i'm a fake blaster player and the game doesn't tell you that and there's no reason for me to know right now anyway because it mm -hmm. it's yeah it's just not possible but uh all the movement stuff as well is it's just very true so like even though like i don't think there's a sub here that i think is still better i think it's really obvious considering what we have left i wonder what it can be <laughs> yeah I would still give it a three anyway, because like it's still just like strong. But I wouldn't. It wouldn't be my number one pick. But if I saw it like released tomorrow, I would still be excited. I wouldn't be disappointed. So I guess I'm the only one here with that much experience using a blaster with burst bomb, because nobody else wants to play that fucking thing. Um, but oh, I mean, S plus ninety one, and specifically, I'm going to use the short range mode as reference because that has a bigger blast radius and a bigger seventy five hit than range. Right. Even with that, if you're fighting an opponent with one sub of bomb defense, the actual radius you combo is tiny. I feel like most of the time, I mostly just end up using the burst bomb for movement tools like Gray was talking about. Like, it's very often I'll, like, jump, blaster shot, burst bomb, and move around and do stuff like that. So, I think that the ability to use it for movement is really good. It's still really cheap, but you basically can't double burst without gear unless if you have comeback active because a shot is 11% of your ink tank and two bursts are 90. 
So like, wow. because of the ink consumption, Ugh. it's so bad that like you are now need more gear on the weapon as well to even shoot one time after double burst. So you're going to have annoying. to run more gear or have comeback active all the time, which I think is already a big downside. The combos are like mitigated as hell on one sub bomb defense and two sub pretty much entirely gets rid of it. I think three sub does completely, but two sub is probably enough. And at that point, you have to just do burst directs. And I'm like, this is still good. You know, it's still burst, but it's the same thing as Torp where I could just get ran down now, like how Kyo says, and I don't have a lethal compared to something like a splat bomb. The paint's probably not as strong either. You know, it's fine. And I'm not going to be able to poke as well. So is it worth it to me over something like a splat bomb that'll at least be lethal? Or even Torpedo has other utility like locating people. And so I still think burst is really good. Like Kyo said, I would still be really hype if I got it, but I don't think it's the best thing it could get. I don't even think it's better than Spot Bomb. So I would probably just give it a two, in my opinion. That's that's my sure. logic behind it. So I'll put it here. But this goes above Torp. All right. Just so because when I oh, when sorry, I see ahead. Stamper, you know. Uh, sorry, sorry. When I see Stamper, uh, people make plays with the Burst Bomb all the time. I just imagine myself doing that with Range Blaster. Like, I mean, it, it seems just will. so much fun, you know. But I, I didn't I didn't know about the uh, ninety percent uh eleven percent like after two burst bombs you can't shoot once. That's just crazy. Like Yeah, Splash made that burst bomb expensive for everything else, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I blame Splash white ink. for this. Uh, <laughs> okay. I think Arrange's white ink would fuck it over as well. A that, bit more. That's Stanford, like, sure. doesn't have that all. Too, so you can't even use it as fast. Ugh. Alright. Kyo, this is your perfect sub, yeah? What what makes it the best? What's, what makes I, it the absolute best? I played Machine, pre-Fizzy Bomb, uh, S and S1. The Fizzy legit, legit changes your weapon. You can just do whatever. Like, you can just become a backline. Same with, like, tri for this game. Because I played tri S2 before this. You can play, you can just become a backline. You can paint, but if you have a special... And your weapon doesn't paint well, which that weapon doesn't. You can just get it for free. It would combo well because it does. Uh, what is it? Fifty and thirty-five. So, and even if it doesn't combo, it will. I think it's more consistent at trapping people than burst because of the the extra bounces and stuff. It does the whole movement thing. The only thing that I dislike is that. It still wouldn't lethal pressure up close like a squat bomb would, right? Mm -hmm. And like, yeah, it's maybe worse in Blaster's best mode as tower. It's maybe worse in tower at like just like getting the guy off the tower. But luckily, you're holding a range blaster. You could just like kind of shoot them <laughs> yourself. So like, I don't know. Fizzy on like ninety percent of weapons is just best to me because I've just played it for so long and I just think it's OP. So like, I was so split. Fizzy is uh first. And even if you had a poor special, you could just LDE double fizzy. Yeah. I, I would, I would be back. same as Kyo. I mean, you get three shots by default. It's only 60%. You can run double fizzy with last ditch and a sub-a-sub -sub saver for zones. Comeback gives you a fifth shot, I'm pretty sure, which is just ridiculous already. You could build special. It, you can use it as a mini curling, technically, if you, like, charge it a little bit, or even without. Like, I... It it's, does everything. It literally does everything. You can even throw it a bit further than other bombs. So it's probably like one of your best options to deal with chargers as well. A, outside of it hitting the tower. Oh yeah, and you can also use it for Rainmaker Shield damage for that mode. It's just outside of tower control is the only mode where there's like somewhat of a downside. And like you can't roll it at your feet like Splat Bomb to keep people off you. But like I, I can just fizzy spam you from a mile away anyway if I'm really worried about not dying. It's it's a three. It's perfect. I, I can't see anything better than a two, yeah. But what chargers take got banned, I think. Hmm? I was watching this tournament and no more chargers. Now they're banned <laughs> from all the... <laughs> oh yeah, I don't have to worry about yeah, the kill ban them the all. The QQS tournament went a bit too well. But yeah, I would agree, like... I don't. I didn't think about this, but... It seems like a pretty solid option, I think. Like, I'm looking at like, what's it on right now, and it's like... Aerospray, Ballpoint, YouTuber, Luna... Machine <laughs> try, so they gave it to Machine and try, and then they were like, "Oh shit!" And then next, I gave it to like YouTuber. Uh, but yeah, like I, I, I just can't really see them giving that the range. Like there's like, no way. But I'm, I'm gonna give it a three. Like if they give it to it, then yeah, I'll be really down, and it will be something new as well, new and strong. 
I'm afraid uh, I'm gonna be a bit <laughs> annoying then. Okay, so the only downside with Fizzy, um, in my opinion, like okay, like the way you sold uh, the Fizzy to me, like all of you guys, like it's perfect, sure. But honestly, I feel like it's gonna make me play the weapon the way I don't really want to play it. Like for example, you guys talked about like LD and stuff. Personally, I'm ne like I'm never gonna think about playing LD on range faster. It's probably like a skill issue on my part. But as well, I feel like if I have Fizzy, then I might uh, condition myself to use a lot more of my sub and less of my uh, main weapon. Like, uh, uh, probably on short term at least. So it's probably like just me, but I feel like the I would prefer having something else. I would prefer Based having like a, just a pure killing thing, like a pure movement killing thing, like Spad Bomb or Burst Bomb. I'm gonna give it a three because we need like a best, okay? Like we we need the best, uh, but I don't know. I, I the way you guys sold it is like perfect. Like if I if I was an investor, I would 100% uh, <laughs> just put it all on it. But I I just feel like with machine, I agree, it completely like makes a weapon. Try so sure as well. In S2, I remember Kyo just. Uh, I mean, I was playing with Kyo uh, on machine uh, Kenza on S2, and yeah, it was just busted. I remember even Sendu, I think, on like Starfish Zones, he was playing Kenza Luna and just spamming faces. My, my favorite in zones, part I was watching uh, Kyo splash down in old tournaments so he can throw another two fizzy bombs. Like, not even there, <laughs> but he just. Like, it's, I have this one clip of you in like Black Belly. You're like all the way in the far right side spamming that little hallway, and you just splash down, and nobody is in like a five mile radius of you, so you can just throw another two at the hallway. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> yes, use case of splash down in that game. <laughs> Yeah. So I, I agree. I agree with you, playstyle wise. Though, yeah, it could it could play kind of boring if it had fizzy. I, I don't know if it could play kind of boring because like you could definitely just use fizzies uh like just aggressively and then you can like if you're in like retake you could spam fizzies and like when you have nothing else to do. But otherwise, I feel like if you're up front, which is what you're gonna be most often as a range master, something else would be better, mm -hmm. like splat bomb and burst bomb. Okay. But I think Fizzy Bomb for sure fixes a lot of range versus issues. So I'll give it a three, just oh. for the sake of it. All right. Uh, before we get to the rest of the subs, why don't we take a little bit of a, a switch to the specials, talk about those first, <laughs> then, we'll, then we'll revisit these guys. And we, yeah. we, we can kind of lightning <laughs> round through those if we're low on time. Okay. Um, but let, let's shift the specials for a little bit. Zipcaster. Um, hey. This was my so... old my old dream special for range before Splatoon three came out. I really really, oh, really? wanted Zipcaster okay. on it. I thought it would be so fun, and I still think it would probably be like the most fun special they could give it on this list. Like going for Zipcaster directs or like combos off it would be so so fun. It would be so cool. And with Intensifier mm -hmm. Cooler, you will be fine jump RNG wise as well. And I think Zip is pretty good, but I don't think it's the best thing it could get. It's still gonna be really really difficult to kill people with your caster. Just because I think Zipcaster weapons like to be a bit flexible, and range's spacing requirement might that make that difficult. And it would kind of overlap with Squiffer a little bit if it's just playing for directs. But I mean, it's still like such a strong special. You could like panic it to live, you could use it aggressively, you could take angles for it, you could go for cool shots. I, I would probably give it a 2. I think it's still one of the better things they could give, and it would be so fun if they did it, but I think there's better options. So, that would be where I'd put it. So... Just overall, like talking overall, I think Zipcaster is like maybe the best designed special like ever. In yes. I agree. So I've never played Zipcaster myself, but of course, just watching clips on Twitter, uh, watching people play Zipcaster, I mean, Stamper, obviously, but Zipcaster, like overall, you can see how much, um, like, depending on your main weapon, the Zipcaster uh, gets a lot of value, like a lot of different value. Like, of course, if you have Zipcaster on Stamper, it's it's different than when you have Zipcaster on Luna. But yeah, in my opinion, it's, it's going to be a two. Uh, it's peak design. Uh, the main weapon also range was, so I think it's peak design. So that would go well with it. I'm just afraid, um, like if you get too close to someone, you can just zip away, maybe, mm -hmm. uh, or something. Um, tch, honestly, maybe, why not a three, actually? like. It could be. I, 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 just, I, I just don't have solid proof that it would be good. 
Because on Luna, it's uh, I mean, Luna is just terrible in general. Yeah, it's but just Luna. <laughs> no, no one. I've never played against someone playing Luna, so I don't know if Luna is actually like if Luna Blaster is benefiting from. Um, it's from just Sip too Caster. far ranged for it, I think. Like even Octobrush yeah. can kind of like flick above you and the bullets fall down. With Luna, you have to like hug the guy if you want to hit them. It just feels yeah awkward. I'd, I'd probably give it a 2 because of the ink consumption thing. Oh, yeah, uh, you probably get very little shots. Yeah, yeah, you, you, pr you probably don't yeah, get a lot of shots. But it's just the facts... Stuff, yeah, 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 also, yeah, the gear thing. But also, um, the fact that you... You know, like, when you zip people, you can do damage. It would probably help a lot. Like, when you zip uh, through a guy, then you can maybe combo with it. I've never played it myself, but when I watch clips, I'm just amazed at the special weapon. So, I'd give it a two. All right. Not a three because of balance, but design-wise, it's uh, it's top tier for sure. Yep. Uh, fun-wise, three. Otherwise, probably just a two. The the um, the accuracy. If I don't have cooler on, or if I yeah, if I don't have cooler, the shot delay because it's slow. As a person that plays a weapon that's really good at killing Zip, if I got zipped by an RB, if I don't insta die, he's fucked. <laughs> that's really. I could kill. I could kill Stamper, and it's fast. If that gun misses a shot, it's this. It's insta dead because you can't just tether right after. And if you like ever misjudge things, I think it's just. I think it's just too difficult. It's too much of a twenty xx perfect player situation yeah. with Zipcaster on that gun. You have to you have to be insane. It's like Squiffer. All right. Is yeah. That it? Mm, yeah. So I do agree that it's one of the be best design specials for sure. I think it's like one of the like examples in Splatoon three that they're like still like gun design really really good specials that have like fun to watch, like fun to play, and you know have different type different layers to them. But yeah, for range, I don't know. Like for me, honestly, it would be allowed to. And the reasoning is the in consumption is the one. Like, I don't really know if that would work so well. And then the second is that, for me, when I think about range special, to me, like, the main weapon is almost like a special in itself. Like, it's so strong. So I would rather have something that is fully supporting the main weapon, and then you can keep doing your thing. But with Zip, you can, like, when it's Zip, it's, like, this whole new, like, weapon almost. Like, yeah, you can shoot with range, but, again, the conception thing and stuff, like, how much would you actually do it? I don't know. But it would still be like a, it would not be like the worst thing. Like I would still be like have fun trying it out. So I think two is pretty. Two okay. is my answer. Solid pick if we get it. All right. Next up is uh, Vanilla Blaster two basically with Bubble. Probably not too much to say on this one. I think it works better with Vanilla Blaster since it can move a little bit faster. It'd be nice for Tower. You can kind of set up with it. But I don't think Bubble is that insane right now. I think it fits Vanilla Blaster way better. And I just don't really like it that much. I would, I'd probably just give it a quick one. I, I think everyone's kind of familiar with it, since we've all played Vanilla Blaster as well. It's just okay. For me. Um, so I played V Blaster a lot in, S, in Splatoon 3, at least. So I played a lot of Bubble as well. And um, I'd probably give it a one. Because when you Bubble, people are either just running away so far from you, or they, they're getting in your bubble. And at other cases, I feel like you can't really deal uh, with that as a range blaster. And I don't think it would be terrible just because you could, uh, you know, shoot, bubble shoot to cancel the animation. Oh, yeah. That would or, be cool. um, yeah, like as you said on TC, like uh, it's probably very good. Uh, just also to refill your ink stuff. But overall, uh, it's, it's probably a two then, but I just feel like it would it fits V Blaster way way more or any short range weapon really. Like either in my opinion, like either you need to be extremely long range weapon or a very short range weapon to have bubble. And range blaster is just middle range. So that's, that's yeah, actually true, probably probably two. I, I'm probably a hater just using it in one. Uh, probably a two for range that way, a Very short or very long range. That's kind of true. Okay. Yeah, it's probably like two point one, two point two. Um, outside of TC, I, I think in in TC, just because I, I think range is just a better gun than big or tiny blaster majority stages, it would end up being better than that, which gives it some merit alone, I guess. 
but it's not really easy to disrespect normal blasts you're getting in its bubble, and that thing shoots pretty fast. Uh, if you ever whiffed it, even if you don't whiff and you damage me, I'm just still running in the bubble, honestly. Um, it's never going to get it either. I guess maybe it depends on the sub, but I don't know. The only thing I can think of being nice is just TC. It, I don't want to be anchored to one spot playing range. I don't want to be anchored to one spot playing normal blaster, even. It's, the only thing that's nice is just the shot delay and some tower cheese, I think. So I'll still give it a two, though, because it's not going to be like the worst thing, but would not look forward to that. And Sandy? Yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, I just can't trust it. Like, I'm, I'm one of the biggest bubble advocates, actually. But I think what Chris said makes a lot of sense to me. That it's just like kind of like an advertisement that you're like, okay, well, rush me or like run away. And if you chase them down, then there's like a like a insta kill shield, like like they can bomb the shield and whatnot. Like, uh, I don't know. I I would just probably give it a one. Honestly, I just I I, I love it on something like junior, but like fit range, I just don't. Don't say it, honest. Okay. I think that's fair. It's not the worst thing I've yet. Okay, so we'll talk about these together because they're kind of similar. But we well, we can rank them separately. But, you know, largely these are almost the same special. Uh, Ten Missiles okay. and Killer Whale 5.1. So, uh, I, for, so for me, so I'll let you guys go first. But mm -hmm. for Whale, I have a red good case. Okay. Um. Just teasing. Kyo, you want to start? <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, okay. It's, it's too hard for me for missile. It's just like if I have like fizzy bomb or something, then like yeah, because I'm just gonna play lame as fuck. Because like <laughs> I'm just gonna fizzy missile until I'm winning the game, and then I'll just be a rage blaster QR fighting the entire match. But like if I have like like anything else, it's value like a a one. I'll give it a two just because I think missiles are on like zero good weapons and just it being on something decently good that can you know play the video game would be nice i i don't think range would be the perfect candidate for that but i don't think it'll be the worst thing in the world for that um did i talk about well as well or do i wait uh you can talk, we're, we're covering both real quick we're gonna get through i'll probably get well like a three i don't even like well but i think it's like you like, like well over missile yeah lack of cooldown yeah just like I can use it while insta fighting, I can just like pop it, and no, because of the ranges, um, getting stuck in ink buff the radius, I feel like you would uh, get a lot of situations where I shoot and wail, and then you actually just die. Yeah, and it just lets you be like super aggressive. I'm not the uh, smartest when it comes to wail. Like, I, there's probably just like if I stand here, it's really annoying if these guys like cross each other here and they walk, and it's like whatever. It's like Ray in a way, but. It's I think it's good. Okay. Uh go ahead, Yeah, with missiles. I mean if it was still like start of Splatoon three, then yeah I would give it a give it a three. But I think uh, they kinda like realized they fucked up, right? And then they were like, Okay, well like let's just like destroy the special, but not quite. I mean it's still like I'm guessing like if you play the four then you're gonna get missed out once or twice, but it's like this special thing with the mode almost to me. And then uh, it rains as well, like... It was fun with Krim, I'm not gonna lie, but... I don't know, like... You put it next to Whale, and then I realized I would much rather have Whale. Like, to me, Whale is like, really... Like, it, it's a nice special to have, and I said, like, I want the special with Synergy with the main weapon, and let, that lets me use the main weapon. I think that could easily be Whale, like, just the thing... Thing, like, getting, get, getting the, like, the guys marked and, like, force them to... Like dots that stuff, but then actually like like here's a range like here, like you can actually like then finish them off. So yeah, I would give like missiles two and then veil three. Okay. Okay. So sh should I go or uh, G, the, if you want to wait for me, I'll go first. Sure. Yeah, okay, you you can go first. Um, I think missiles and whale are a little bit more even for me. There's two things I like more about missiles, which is one that missiles actually do kind of paint the floor a little bit, like kind of an underrated amount. And, uh, to the fact that the damage feels a lot more consistent. Like, if I'm gonna fight someone when the missiles are going off, it's gonna be happening, like, uh, what is it? It's gonna be a lot easier to, 
like shoot someone with a range blaster shot, trap them, and get the missiles to guaranteed land. Whereas with whale, like even if they're moving a bit, it doesn't work as well. Basically, I just think the missiles are a little bit easier to know when you're going to go for a combo with them compared to whale. It's just like a small quality of life thing. But I think whale does have utility with the lack of cooldown and the ability to use a mid fight is really nice for an ink tank refill. So I'd probably just give them both a two. It's not my personal hope for the weapon because I really want. I want a special that isn't just like this is going on while I'm using the main gun. I want something to kind of extend plays a little bit. I think that adds a bit in terms of making it fun because Wave is already kind of a throw the special and then just keep shooting your gun while it goes off. And it's just fine, but it's just a little simple to use and a little boring to me. So I'm just, you know, the fun side of me wants a little bit more of something to do with the weapons to make it a little bit more interesting. And competitive wise, I think there's better options anyway, too. Like, I think there are stronger specials in the game than these, but they're fine to me. So I, I would I would give them twos as like both of them. I, I don't think they're both fine. Kyo? Or sorry, not Kyo, Gray. Okay, so um, well, for me, you heard it here first, but it, for me, it's like the best special CRB could get. So it's three. Why? Because um, it does damage. It reveals uh, like the location of people. Uh, it reveals your ink, and uh, you can combo off of it. Obviously, the only downside is that it can't really paint. Uh, I mean, it do it just doesn't paint, right? But since people are gonna be backing away, then you can paint. You can just you know paint it yourself. Also, uh, in my opinion, what Range Buster wants is to get like a um, just to get um like to get to use the main weapon as much as possible. And Killer Whale is exactly this. Like you just use your special and then you can use your main weapon to like finish stuff or something, you know? Mm -hmm. So the only downside for me of the Killer Whale is on like an individual level, I already have Killer Whale on Rapid Pro Deco, which I use a lot. So I would I wouldn't like Using the same special on both of the, my both of my weapons, uh, and also the special itself, it's it's not. I don't know the word. It's just kind of lame, you know. Like it, it, like you just use it and then it does. Like it's just um, uh, automatic, you know. Like it's it's kind of brain dead to use. I feel like, but I think it's like the best thing Range Buster could ask for. Maybe maybe I'm tripping, but. Uh, it's a three for me, and for missile, I would give it either one or zero, oh, because wow. okay. yeah, because again, like the missile nerf that you can't uh, charge another missile uh, like uh, after ten seconds or after you used it. I don't think it it does anything to range blaster because you're not really farming your special anyway. Uh, and the the only reason I would give it one. It's because balance wise, like it's it's actually kinda interesting to to have uh, a missile um to have missile on like a range blaster. Cause like you're not building around it, right? You're not saying, Oh, I need missile, should I go Flingza or Range Blaster? You know, like like you can just have like um like a missile as like just a niche uh, option to like retake, I guess. Because you only really you're only gonna really use missile for like hard retakes, like once you wiped, I guess. But again, depending on your sub, maybe you're gonna take a long time to build it. Maybe it's uh, overall, I don't think it's gonna do as much. Like, uh, like okay, you're gonna use missile, then what? Like, uh, even overall, like today, I don't, I don't think missiles are really doing much, especially in this cooler meta. You can't use it while you're fighting. You can't use it uh, aggressively. Nah, in my in my opinion, it's gotta be zero or one. I don't know which one. I don't know if it matters. Yeah, like, I think uh, it's the same on... score regardless. Okay, okay. So, so uh, yeah, zero point five. Yeah, it's a six <laughs> or a seven, so it goes in the same tier. I I really like missile. Like I I I I've had gold missiles like ever since <laughs> the start, but uh, I don't know. I I just would hate to have it on my uh, on my weapon, honestly. And even S two when Green Blaster was here with a uh, burst bomb missile. Like which should have been broken, like honestly, like it never got used. So I, I'm really not convinced. Okay. All right. Uh, I I think the next one's gonna be a fast one. It's it's bazooka. Uh, 
So Zuka's like one of those options where I don't enjoy using it very much. And I think like with range, but with range, it's like pretty good. I mean, you just pop it. You can deal with chargers. Like you just, I would just AOE a ledge and then I get a Zuka and I just Zuka real quick and go back to being range. And Zuka's like kind of broken. So I feel like it would have, if I'm being fair, I would have to give it a three. If I was being biased to the specials I actually want, I would give it a two. And I'm going to do that because I feel like they're going to eventually balance it. So I, I think some other specials give a little bit more utility. That'd be more fun. But like, it's it's bazooka. You can't really complain too much. I'll, I'll give it a solid two. Um, yeah, two for me as well. Uh, everything you said, basically. Uh, it's probably, I think, one of the special I hate the most. Like, facing it, playing it, even playing with it. Like, it's it feels kind of random. Yeah. And again, like for me, Range Blaster, you want a special that uh, enables your main weapon. And like with Zuka, obviously, like you just shoot your Zuka and that's it, you know? And especially when you shoot Zuka, either you just point blank people or you just use it from far away. And either way, you don't really want to do that with Range Blaster, like either of those. Wait, oh, so, I just, uh, you just made me realize I could shoot someone with range as they're running at me, panic Zuka. <laughs> to cancel the end lag and then AOE my feet to combo and kill them. Yeah, but like oh, it's just gross. poor design. It's just poor design of the uh, devs. Like it, it shouldn't shouldn't uh, be a thing. Oh you know? god. They, so they, yeah, they it, gotta fix the startup eventually. I hate this. Why so yeah, like ba ba balance. <laughs> honestly, like balance wise, probably like a three or two. But honestly, like if he, if it was me, I would give it a one. So probably just to to even yeah, out, right. uh, I'd give it a two. Balance three. In terms of how much I like the game, same things like, ah, oh, fuck Bazooka, I don't want it, but god damn it, it's good. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't want it on any of my weapons. I've been playing okay. shots to oh. feel for my team, and uh, just using Zuka it makes me really want to hurt myself. Especially with latency. <laughs> like, with latency, the special literally doesn't work. So like, fucked. it doesn't fucking work. So, yeah. it's zero for this, but okay, two even out, just, I, I guess, give it one or two or whatever. Yeah, I gotta be fair. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, leave it in doubt and give it a one because I think like my hot take is that when people look at kits, they overvalue what's currently meta. And for this game, we're gonna get like at least one year more balance patches, I guess, what we expected looking at the past past games. Like one 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 more year. Like I think it would be. Quite surprising if it's quite this strong at the end of it. And besides, like for me, it's more like, okay, does it have good synergy with the main weapon or not? Because even if it got Zuka, then would it really be the best Zuka option? Like, I don't, I don't really think so at all. Like, uh, then you can make an argument, can you have enough Zukas right now? I guess not, but for me, like, just synergy wise and like how I would feel playing it, like, just like straight one. Like, I, I, um... I wouldn't be like too happy about it. Yeah, with what Sen said, just, uh, yeah, one, actually. Not two, just one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's convinced me too. Fuck it. Actually, <laughs> no, I, I gotta keep it at two, otherwise it's gonna be ranked, like, next to, like, Trump or something. I, I can't <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping my at two so the list doesn't look horrible. Oh, boy, you're not ready gonna for me with Trump's. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I'm Trump gonna be Trump is a poor example, I actually kind of like Trump. <laughs> oh, no, screen, whatever, triple splashdown. Okay, I, yeah, I yeah, you get those. me those. Whatever. Okay, Kyo? Real quick, what do you want? Uh, I'll give it a two. I'm one of the rare humans on the planet that I that I think machine is just better RB. But so like if you give Wait, it anything real? that's like the same, you yeah. Think, you I, think I machine like is the, better. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just like the shooting profile of like machines more than blasters to this. I mean, I guess player. for you it makes sense because you're like a blaster plus bucket player. So like machine is like the both like both of yeah. them. So like anything that's the same, like extremely the same, unless it has like crazy synergy, I'm just gonna be like, yeah, it's probably just worse. Yeah. I feel like I just wouldn't love it. And then also like, you're always like under ledge camping. You're never. I feel like you're never like super far away. Like what? What are you even zooking? Like the charger? That was like the only guy that I I want to zook and I don't just want to shoot with my gun. Or I'll just he's gonna get banned in all tournaments anyway. It's just one yeah. thing where like you pop the special and you have it for like two seconds. So like it's just. Fuck it. I see someone shooting him. Then go back to normal. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Alright. 
So yeah, no, no one here is super enthusiastic about Zuka. Nah, please uh, don't. Please. I think the next one's gonna have its fans though, which is Crab, and I'm I gotta be one of them, right? I think Crab is a three. Uh, you can panic it to stay alive, which is really cool. It paints like it actually covers a flaw. If you need to do objective for a bit, you can just do objective with the with the crab. You could use it aggressively too, kind of like Dooley does, or I guess Stamper would be a better example. But yeah, it's just strong, and it still combos decently well. Like if you can hit them with the area of effect shot after you hit them with a the range blaster shot, and that can potentially combo. Would it be as good as other weapons? But like, I don't know. Crab just has so many different things you can do with it. It's so good. I just I can't really think. I think you can't really go wrong with it. I think it'd be really fun. Uh, I'll let you guys go because uh, I'm kind of conflicted on this one. Yeah, I think I'll I'll go with two because I agree. Like probably like again like from like what's strong. Like I think that should be quite good, but I gotta stay consistent. Like I want something to support the main weapon. I don't want I don't want like something that takes over and is like like is now my gun. Like I want something that supports range and crap is like whole different beast. So I agree. Ooh, I'm gonna marry you. Bro. The panic crab is so good, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a two. Okay. But... Uh, Kyo? Um, this is like the one thing that would probably get me to play RB, because I have this <laughs> one, I just want an uh, AoE weapon with a crab, because nothing, nothing exists, because the, the devs weird, trolled me by giving yeah, Dread Wavebreaker. Yeah, they could put thing, you know, but... Yeah, uh, maybe. We'll give it another Wavebreaker. Woo! Like, I wouldn't get a lot of it, but just like... Just like my way of thinking about the game and like the specials I want, it, it's so hard for me to get a crab in my comp without being like, damn, I really don't want this weapon. <laughs> and that's just like, that's like the one thing that I would like. Like, in that terms, I'll give it a three. I would still give it a three anyway. Like, um, I mean, just like synergy wise, I think it would just be good. Okay. Um, I would assume there might be some situations where it's like you're too close to get a good crab, but you could also just like, ball roll away for like a half second expo shot. So yeah. I don't think it'd be like the worst thing in the world. Hmm. Okay. And great. So the thing I noticed so far is that we have like a EU versus NA mentality because like <laughs> basically Sandu and me are talking about the the main weapons more and you guys are more talking about like the potential of the special. And I'm, I'm like I gotta a, agree. I'm like a comp builder. I, I like the special. Yeah, no, 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 I'm, no, no, it's not like I'm, I'm just <laughs> noticing it. I'm just noticing yeah. this uh, trend. And I gotta agree with Sundu completely here. Like, I gotta stay consistent. For me, it's gonna be a two. Yeah. That's because um, if I can explain like real quick, basically, again, like I wanna use my main weapon with Range Blaster. And if we were talking about Rapid, I would give it a three. Just because with Range Blaster, I feel like I'm always in poor positions to use my crab so if i want to use crab let's say like in a real game i want to use my crab i'm under the ledge like a normal guy i would have to go back like top mid and use my crab yeah that's right a fair downside. so to me it, it kind of seems weird to have crab but it wouldn't be bad because yeah you could like bowl for him uh you could do a lot of stuff like this but i do i just think for wrench blaster itself it, it wouldn't be it, it just would kind of, just like Fizzy Bomb, it would kind of be uh, not optimal. Not optimal, I would feel like. Hmm. Okay, that's a fair assessment. Okay. Next up is an interesting option, which is Cooler. It's like, uh, <laughs> Cooler's a Can weird one to Can think about for range one? in particular. I feel like yeah. if it had Cooler, it's basically committing to being a second Cooler gun. So this is just yeah. a double Cooler comp weapon. And like, yeah. You know, balance-wise, maybe that has some utility, but I, I'd give it a 1 because, like, I think that's lame as fuck. I just yeah, want yeah. someone else to be the cooler guy. I don't want to have to worry about that. I don't want my special <laughs> to just be throwing a damn cooler. That's boring as hell, but, like, would I rather throw down a cooler than have, like, a splashdown? Probably. It's, like, it's better than some other options, but I'm not really interested in double cooler comps. I guess it keeps your main gun, like you guys are talking about, so, you know, it doesn't clash with that, at least, but... It doesn't really do a whole lot for the gun either, other than, like, just letting me go in again. But I already got QR. I already got another guy on my team who's going to farm a billion coolers. I just think it's kind of redundant. I don't really need it. I got other people will do it. So, like, eh. So, everything you said, I agree. Um, like, I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, tomorrow, like, they announced the Range Rest kit, and I see cooler. Like, I would actually be very, very sad. Because <laughs> um, cooler, 
literally makes range blaster good, like overall. Not good, but it makes it very good, right? So having it yourself would be okay, but range blaster doesn't get really much cooler. And exactly, like, you yeah, wouldn't want to worry about it. Which, oh god, I don't want to think about how that would play. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you wouldn't want to like if you if you just on the select screen if you just pick range blaster like you you don't want like that's my reasoning you don't want to think about crab. You don't want to think about fizzy. You don't want to think about cooter. Like you just want to play like the the gun, you know. So, in my opinion, like I, I would say zero. Like honestly, because oh, wow. okay. yeah, yes, not what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> no, because yes, yes, it's broken, but I I I don't want to play it like myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Kyo, well, what what are you what are you expecting, Kyo? Do you are you the opposite opinion? Do you think it's really good? Uh, all right. In a in a weird way, I'm just like okay. My current special is Wave Breaker. It doesn't exist. <laughs> I can at I can at least just cooler myself a second time. Like only for Rage Blaster would this matter for comp building for like anything else. Like I feel like the double cooler would be fine with this gun, but yeah, like yeah, you're not even really picking it for the double cooler. You're just picking it to have an RB, and it just happens. Yeah, to I just want an RB with not Wave Breaker. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, I have to get it like. Maybe a one because double cooler isn't like that amazing. It would be cool for RB only if like I mean, maybe I'm like playing TC and have an infinite cooler glitch. Gun, yeah, because you could still just run the other two specials as like normal stuff. So I, yeah. I don't know. But like, but, I don't know. I'm never gonna always, get it. Or I'm never gonna want to use it. I'm gonna be too far to use it. Actually, it's gonna be like how I played Tri before cooler was good, where I just popped that shit for myself. I was like, I want an extra life, and mm. Range is gonna do like the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Sandu, you a fan of it or nah? I think a solid two. I kind of like like you guys' okay. arguments. Maybe, maybe, you know, it's been a while since since like I I've been like thinking about cooler that way. But I guess in some cases you could kind of like use it as a shield almost if you're playing like acro. I like wave for the one thing that you can like pop it acro and then you can kind of like be inside the wave. And then they think they can rush you, but then they start shooting at the wave, and then you can get some kills like that. Like, that's the one thing I like wave for right now. But yeah, I'm getting like the same thing. Like, it's not really the weapon for it. Like, I mean, kind of for the meme value that the you pens it is like, oh, I don't want to play a cooler anymore. And then you're like, bro, I got this. And then you like pull out the custom range that gets like <laughs> 0 0.5 cooler per game. So you can say you have a cooler, but. Not really. Like, so it's the meme value, but yeah. Like, uh, if you if you're being serious here, then maybe, yeah. maybe like, let's give it a two. So I'm not so negative, but I okay. can't think of a better ones. All right. Um, why don't we jump real back back real quick to the subs, and we'll do lightning round real quick to make this go a little bit faster. So we're gonna go through a lot of these uh less favorable subs and go through the opinions a bit more quickly. Everyone cool with that? Yes. Save some time. All right. Sprinkler, yeah. it paints. You can move a You go bit first, Gary. I think you know a lot about Sprinkler. I, I don't want to. They put it on, like, everything. <laughs> I've had it on Dynamo. I've had it on X Club. I've had it on Umbrella. I've had it on S Plus. They, they keep giving it to me. I don't I don't ask for this. Um, yeah. It, it paints your feet, and it can help you get a good special if you had one. I would give it a, I would give it a one. That's it. Okay. Okay. Kill. Go. Quick. Sprinkler. It's a one. It just it, it exists. It's not amazing. Okay. Send you sprinkler. Let's go too because they give it sprinkler. They give it some broken ass special and sprinkler still like min shield and maybe I don't know like maybe you can be a bit annoying with it. It's maybe there's even worse things than sprinkler. So two. Okay, great. It's good. it's gonna be like one for me because like yeah you can paint the feet and paint the walls. It doesn't do damage. Doesn't do anything else. Nice and. Yeah, I don't know. The special just sucks in general. I mean, the sub weapon just sucks in general. It's gotta be one or zero, so just one, I guess. All right. Uh, dart. It can combo technically, but really unlikely, and uh, it's way too ink hungry. But it can paint your feet. I'm giving it a zero. Yo, dart. Zero. <laughs> you, already, you, you already traumatized you enough. <laughs> you don't <laughs> talk about this. Uh, gray. Uh, zero, I think. Sandu. Just nothing outside. I like the sub, but just not on RB. Okay. I mean, I don't even know. Like, maybe like one. Well, if you so, give it a one, like, it's in the same tier. One, 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 one for the one cool like Twitter clip you can get with it, and you can post for like 53 likes. 
and then you can feel happy about yourself and not play it ever again. But yeah, it's not great. Uh, actually, pro actually, probably one, actually two. Like. All right, wait. Just, yeah. It escapes the mist here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, splash wall. Uh, zero. No, 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 no. Zero, 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 zero. 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 Yo. I, I, I never. Yeah. Um. It, it, it didn't seem so bad on custom exposure, weirdly enough, but on range raster, it's like no, too much no, ink no, hungry no. and like doesn't do anything really. No. Uh, Zero. Kyo. Zero. It's just bad. Sandu. This is not it. Yeah, it's easy to zero because we, are, we already had that, we already saw it doesn't work. So if they like pull it again, then they really have to give some good explanation why they want to do it. Like, was it like two games already that they did that? Uh, they've only done this. Um, no, it's only done this one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So they tried it there, and I mean, uh, it was the no first was game they it. did. We can forgive them for it. They they never put the weapon in the game before. It's understandable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Sheldon is probably gonna come up with some good explanation, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't want yeah, to. yeah. Eleventh wall up. Please. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm a splashful hater. Okay, beacon. Uh, yes, yeah, sure. I this is the last weapon that wants to be sending up beacons. It's slow. It does. It wants to. It's gonna zero. be even less special. Zero. Zero. Screw it now. Zero. 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 Right. Final sub open. This Ooh. one we actually have to talk about a bit. I think. Uh curling bomb. I'll so, go last on this. So curling bomb actually. Um, I used to play uh, roller a little bit, and I found myself charging the sub weapon a lot, which you know you don't really do. Like you don't really see people do, but it could probably be good with range raster because when you charge the killing bomb you do more damage and it paints more uh i don't think it would be horrible especially since uh, the ink consumption got buffed so you it does like 65 percent uh it's for sure not three just because of the balance like the sub weapon isn't doing much but it's it's probably like a 1.8 honestly so I'll, I'll just give it like a two okay i'll also i don't think it's enjoyable I don't think it's enjoyable, but I don't, I don't see how that would be like terrible. I'll give it a two because it, it is going to paint my special. I get three shots after it because it's cheap now. It's only sixty five, so I can actually shoot my gun a little bit more. That extra shot is not the worst thing to have, and like the partials are still pretty decent. Like I think it's kind of underrated. Like it's I hated it in S two, but now that you get that extra shot, I just, I think it just gives it a lot more use cases and like. As long as it's not paired, like if it's paired with a garbage special, I'll hate it. But if you give me curling and like a crab or a whale or a kraken or whatever, like things I want on it, I'm not going to complain. So I I'd probably give it a two as well. I think it's fine. Kill? Sam, two. I'm a curling glazer. I you saw my tweet about 52 the other day. I was like, uh, the other one's better just because it has like curling. I'm probably like trolling because I don't play 52, like seriously, but like, I love curling. You can spam that. All right. And, like mobility is nice. Kill curling fam. And I also played CRB in S2, and yeah, it wasn't okay. that bad. And curling's better now. It wasn't that bad until so you started so. using bubble with it. I would not talk about that. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about the special. <laughs> All right. Sandu? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I still like killing the most for weapons that are like, okay, like I'm going to use this for like, you know, the mobility and baiting things. Like with roller, it's like, it's almost like made for that. But I got like maybe 1.5, but maybe we can round it upwards. And you maybe round it to a two? Yeah, I round it to a two. Like... It makes it to auto bomb. Let's go. Yeah, I wanna put one. I wanna. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna <laughs> the same the yeah. like, Do we all so think weird. it should be here? I think it, should, it, it can't be next to auto bomb. I, mean, I feel like, like, like it should go here, yeah. Yeah, I, I'll give it a one then. All right. We'll, we'll drop it to be fair. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when I hear your opinions, you guys are making so much sense. So I just want to revisit my opinion. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's part of talking about stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think this is a fair spot though. Like, it, it's not like it's exactly where I think it should be. You know, it's, it's not as good as the yeah. bombs, but it's better than every other like non bomb stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Like it's it's the great middle ground. I'm like I, I'll tolerate it. Um, okay. I'll save some of the specials we can go through faster later. So let's talk about something more interesting first. Rain. Uh, we had this on S2. I, uh, I don't like it still. I, it really? can heal you, which is nice. And it's better than Wave Breaker. But it still, like, doesn't have a lot of synergy with my gun. I'm very rarely going to be able to combo off it. And I don't 
really think I'm going to use the healing that much. It is still like a one and done throw special. I'm like so split between a one and a two. I really don't know. I think my gut says that it's probably still worth a two because you keep the gun. Like at the absolute worst case, you just have a rain going off while you're being a range blaster, which is like fine. So I, I guess I'll give it a two. No, like for me, like that's a three. And like, okay, maybe it's a Stockholm syndrome from Splatoon 2. I was playing it. But I, I like for me, like I'm saying consistent. Like let's me use main, main weapon. It's like the it's like the basic thing like from Splatoon Splatoon 2 that okay, like you the last one alive with range and you know the enemy is like dropping on ink bot zones and you out of ink. And then you pop the cloud, like it so nicely like covers the whole zone, like first enemy to take like weird ass roots or like be weak to your shots and then like it's a whole new situation all of a sudden. Like and now with the healing as well, like okay, I'm I'm saying it's the weapon that benefits the most from that buff. But I mean Cloud is pretty good. It, no, it no. definitely so, use the healing sometimes. I could see Yeah, that. yeah. So like, I, I would I was shooting under a ledge while I have a rain going off, I'm not gonna like take time to recover, I'm just gonna keep shooting. Yeah, yeah. So like I would give it a three. Like so staying consistent with the main weapon bias. Okay. It's funny how how many rain weapons in Splatoon 2 they took away, then they added the healing buff that makes them want it back. Brella is like the same thing. Like I, eh, bro, rain on Brella was fine, but rain with Brella with healing, oh, that's different. That would have that would have been brutal. <laughs> that would have been really brutal. Okay, Ray, are you a rain fan? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, like if I if I uh went first, I think I would have given it uh, one. <laughs> but just hearing Sen talk about it, I'm like. Probably a two. I don't. I don't want to. For me, it's it's um kind of the same logic as uh killer whale. Just like okay, you're just using it and then you don't care. The thing is, uh, with rain, it's much more uh painting oriented. Much more uh, it's it's not. You're not gonna want to do damage with the rain. Like it's gonna do damage, but it's probably not what's gonna happen the most. Um, so just for me, a two, it's kind of, uh, like you just throw it and maybe you pray that someone just sits in your rain and just escapes or whatever. But again, like same logic as Sandu, it's, uh, gotta stay consistent, uh, use your main gun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Honestly, the healing, the healing thing is nice. I don't know if it actually does something like with Nautilus or Brush. I don't know if any, any if anyone like noticed something. It helps with Honestly. them a little bit. Brush is a bit better because okay. you can roll around and get your yeah. healing. Like if you have a stall tool, I guess. Uh, yeah. Honestly, like it's it doesn't seem as bad. Like if I mean, if I were I mean, to there. rank, it's just extra. yeah. yeah if, if I if I were to uh, rank like Wave Breaker, I would put it to two. So I mean, you guys are saying it's uh, so much better than Wave Breaker. I'm like, okay, sure. I mean, I think it's uh, definitely better than Wave Breaker. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm just I'm just I'm just brained on Wave Breaker, like honestly, <laughs> but. And yeah, probably two then. All right, Kyo. Um, yeah, same with with Sendo said the Stockholm syndrome from S two. I played another cloud weapon, try new uh, I like camping ledges with a rain up, like just like raining yourself under a ledge. You're just like anti trade. Like you just like shoot, and if they rush you, they're probably gonna die to cloud, and you just back up. So like no one wants to fuck with you after you put up your cloud, and I think that's just really nice. Yeah. Same thing as just like throwing it and just being like, okay, I don't have to think anymore. Yeah. To just, to, to, to just like, for me, it's it, it's good because it's, in my opinion, it's just below whale. Uh, whale. Like, it's just, yeah. whale is like killing and rain is like painting. And for me, uh, it's this logic. So I, th I think it's a very good uh, placing. You have? Okay. Yeah. Eight or, I would rank it as an eight or a nine if Kyo's a two or three, which I'm guessing he is. Yeah. Yeah, three. Okay. Oh, three. Okay. I also think it makes its strength in TC even better. Actually, wait. It'll get, like, clouded on that TC twos, push. Right? You can't move. Okay, three, mm. three, two, two. Never mind. That's actually up here. Okay. All right. Pretty high up. That's a lot more than I expected. Okay. Ultra Stamp. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be heated on this one. You have experience because you got Wiper, so I'll let you talk. All right. You probably played Stamp more than everyone here. You can probably. All right, all right, all right. It depends on the meta at the time. Like, so heavily. Like, right now, Hammer's ass. Too many shooters. And Pen also kind of shoots you through it for some reason. 
But it, it, it literally just depends on the meta. Because Wiper before uh, all this stuff was good, I could get hammer out of my or value out of my hammer every time. But not anymore. It's so bad now. So I don't know. If you dropped it into the game today, maybe like a two, well, a low two, because it, like, I can still like do stuff up close. I'm like kind of good at hammer, so it'd, like maybe just a bit of bias. I don't mind it. I can like break the objects and stuff that I normally would struggle with. Like if I get like crabbed or something, yeah, I can just throw it at the crab. And I can help myself get in or whatever. Like I don't mind it, but like it, it's like number one tilter special. Yeah. Okay. I would probably also give it a two because I think it's I think it works all right on range. Uh, mainly like you can sit under ledges and if someone runs at you, you don't have to direct them. You can just pop stamp and swing at them if they go close. So it makes it really good at ledge camping. Mm -hmm. You can also like break bombs under you as well. You can even use it on zones. If you're finding a team that's bomb, bomb spamming zone and you need to paint for whatever reason as RB, you can stamp the bombs. Like it sounds kind of silly, but I've seen a, a Rashi do it in S2 to counter bomb rushes and it works surprisingly consistently as long as you don't get too greedy. I think it's also nice because... I think you don't have to keep the stamp forever. So you can just, like, I can pop stamp if someone rushes me, you know, I kill them, and then if I don't have to, if I don't have someone to rush about, I just throw the stamp and I'm back to being a range. So like, I could just pop it, get quick value out of it if there's a chance, and then, you know, throw it away. And, you know, then maybe the throw kills someone, and maybe it doesn't, it's not a big deal. It's just nice for covering range up close, and it can still do some things if you're fighting in, like, close range environments. And it's not very committal. So you don't have to keep it in a situation where it's bad. It's still not going to have, like, the power of a really good special, but I think it covers a good bit of what Range Blaster is bad at. And then, yeah, you can use it on objects or on Rainmaker Shield or whatever, too. So it's like, it has enough use cases for me, and then even when I'm in a match where I'm not getting a lot of the use cases, I can just throw it, and it's not that bad. So, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with Stamp. Oh, you can even panic it to live a bomb in your end lag. I didn't think about that, but you can... Like, if you have a slap on you and you jumped, you can pop stamp and eat the bomb and not die. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It's, like, very specific range blaster synergy at times that makes it okay to me. Uh, Sandy, what do you think of stamp? You know, let's go with the one. Like, for me, I, I want it on Kamo. Uh, Kamo tent. Like, I, I, I want that back. I don't want this <laughs> range, range stamp madness, like. <laughs> I, I I just don't see the vision. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm sorry. For me, it's a one. All right. Um, for me, it's zero or one. Okay. Um, basically, <laughs> basically, I don't know if my ranking is gonna matter, but uh, if it's a one, it would go up a tier. So I mean, which one do you want it in? You want it uh, next to Zuka and Missile, or <laughs> next to Cooler? <laughs> I would put. I mean, it would go above Cooler because Cooler is barely in the tier, so it'd be like this, I guess. Yeah, next, um, and that's kind of fair. The next to Zuka just, is crazy. <laughs> it's it's just like um overall the design of the special. I think it's like one of the worst. Uh, I would hate playing it because it's very very frustrating special with especially with latency. Uh, facing it is horrible, especially as a range raster, which you can't even shoot it yourself. Uh, like if you're facing another range raster. Oh yeah, uh, it'd be sure, a free it, wind button for the weapon ditto. <laughs> yeah, it, it it has some good use cases, as you said, like okay, like if someone rushes up close or uh something. So probably a one. Mm -hmm. Probably a one. Yeah. I mean either way it's but same. it's like a it's it's a very or low a one. One would actually put it higher, technically. Yeah, it, it's probably a very, very low one. Put a bottom of this, I guess. I, I, I really, really, really dislike this weapon, honestly. This uh, special weapon. I, I mean, I think I don't think latency makes it inconsistent because I've looked in depth into how the blocking mechanic works and it's just shot velocity related. But I mean, it's still fair to dislike it either way because it's still like latency or not, it's still not consistent. It's it's so, it's just so frustrating. Like actually, like just if if it was revealed tomorrow, I would probably cry just <laughs> using this weapon. I don't want to think about it. Like. I just want. I just wish it was more consistent. That's the irritating part of the special. Like at least if I knew how it worked every time. Yeah. That would be nice. Like the special is like perfect for tent, uh, like sploosh, ink brush, wiper. But for range faster, I just don't see it. Honestly, like just zero, man. Just zero, actually. Just All zero. All right, we're putting it down here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the stamp hatred. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm very heated on some uh things, but. All right. Uh, jetpack. Jetpack's kind of interesting. 
Yeah, that's I mean, interesting, I, for sure. Here's the thing. I think it fits better on Rapid, like a lot. It's still sure. nice. Like, it's still a killstreak extender. It's still a good special. And, like, you could still kind of just pop it whenever if you don't care about the recall that much. So, like, it's still a two. It'd be really fun if it got it, but I don't know. Like, I can't even fully describe it. I try to explain how I think, like, in really in-depth all the time. You know, that's what my channel is. But, like, this is one of those very few things where I'm, like, I feel like it should be higher than this, but something about it just doesn't sit right with me. Like, I can't... Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel, like, as perfect for some of the stuff I like better. So, I would, I would do I... it, too. I relate a lot to what you just said. Like it, it, like in reality, like in theory, it feels good. But like I know in reality, it's not gonna feel as good. And for me, it's gonna be a one. Uh, I don't like using the special. I don't. Uh, I don't think it's just very good. Like at the moment, like balance wise. Uh, but just thinking like pure uh, theory, like not balance. Uh, I, uh, again, like. I don't want to use ink shots. Like uh, I think I want to use my main weapon a lot, and uh, just consistency uh, across my uh, opinions. Okay. It's 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 pretty good because like if you're under a ledge, then you can pop a uh, jetpack and be covered. Like naturally, like naturally, you're gonna be in good spots to pop ink jet, which is why it's one and not zero. But um, yeah, uh, overall, I just feel like it's it's probably not. For range master again, like it's for, for rapid, it's perfect, but for range master, probably not so much. Okay, so one. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, one. Yeah. I'm going to be the odd one out. I mean, you're a jetpack I'm... fan. You're probably right. Yeah, I, I play. <laughs> I play a lot of jetpack. I'm a. I'm gonna say three. I just feel like <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just like you said. It's even from the the start where you said like it's like a maybe it's just worse or better on rapid. I feel like. This is better on range. Like I can hmm. indirect the jetpack shot them, and they're just dead. Like yeah, this, I just have a like really, the, really good combo out of it. Like the gear independency thing it might oh, yeah, might be need, a problem. Oh, you need like four sub sub power too, though. Ooh. Yeah. I guess but you can besides just that, two, if you want, it's like don't you just need two subs? Two or four are both utilities. Yeah, two People four. Tend okay, to okay. Either. Is this like I don't know, the synergy of blaster with jetpack from? S2, like, it's a bit slower, because it's a range, but, like, it's just, like, so nice. And, like, yeah, in the current meta, it might be, like, iffy. I might get, like, shit on by pen. If I shoot a guy that's cooler, it won't matter. But, like, I know, I feel the times it's where I have special with a range the most is just, like, I kill them, and I'm getting special from kill streak, so I'm probably jetpacking their base. Yeah. More so yeah, that than makes jetpacking sense. mid, which means I can that snowball sense. the game. Right. I mean, it's still, like, a pretty solid special, I think. Like, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not the worst. I would love it. Uh, if that yeah, happens, I'd be very excited. All right, Sandu? Mm. Yeah, cool. like, earlier... Uh, we picked every single option so far besides the zero, so... <laughs> I, I could almost call it zero. Like, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe not, maybe that'd be too harsh. I think one, because I will explain. Like, for me, like... I'm still a bit sad last season, like that they have both Empires and Custom Blaster, and they gave both like Splashdown. Yeah, that's and, so uh, troll. That's, that, <laughs> that's like so troll and unnecessary. You, because for I, me, they've changed so many ink gel weapons from Splatoon Two. <laughs> like it's the okay. Blaster for me would have been natural fit for it, and I will explain. Like for me, ink set the biggest utility is like against like people who are just like staying like way back in the ledge, and you just see a bomb, you don't even see the player. You see the bomb because they're staying back in the ledge and just like for example TC and spamming and stuff like they have to lead, then now they don't have to like risk like okay, they made it better in this game by introducing specials that can deal with that. But I think Inkset is one of those. But for me, range is one of the rare main weapons that can actually punish that. Like the reach the main weapon has is crazy from so much, like people don't even believe it. So for me, in a lot of situations I would be like, okay, I would rather I would set here with blaster, but with range I would just maybe use my main weapon. But I think you also made nice points about like being able to extend like a deep push. But maybe I'm not like a such like a deep pusher with range, I don't know. Like for me, like one okay. one would be my score. Alright. So I've lined up a few of the weaker specials in a row here, so we can go for another speed round before we get to the last few ones to talk about. So we'll go through quickly again for the purposes of time because I know it's been a bit a bit long so far. So uh, Oops, sorry. Yeah, we're no, don't worry, there's been five. I just want to make sure you guys don't step too late. Uh, no, so we'll, we'll go through these here real quick. All right. 
Uh, ink vac. So I mean, Gray, you and this Sunday zero for sure. About, yeah, you guys have been talking about wanting your main gun, and uh, yeah. I mean, you can panic mm. it, and then maybe on clams it's okay. You, I, I would you can't, still... you can't even panic it really. Like yeah. honestly, you can't even panic it. it. It's very bad, I think. Like you're not, you're not gonna be behind anyone to use it, and you can't panic it. It doesn't. <laughs> it's uh, just I, bad. I would give like, it like a zero as well. I think. Yeah, zero, zero. Yeah. Uh, zero. I don't even like the special. It's too, it's too Mickey Mouse. I don't know. And no synergy with the gun either. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's easy it's zero. Like, maybe you could troll some people. Like, sometimes it's... With Wack, you get the most, like, BS pushes ever, because Wack just does some wacky things, but... I don't know, it's just not for range, and I don't like it either, so... Zero. Fair. Triple Splashdown! Uh, oh! So just worse, worse, worse Reg Blaster! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's zero for sure. Yeah, I'll give I'll go to zero. I I have nothing to say on this really. Yeah. Like realistically, it's it's probably like a bit better than this, but like just j I don't wanna I don't I don't want I don't, I don't want, want, want it. it. Like, <laughs> I'll give it a one. It's like an anti trade thing. Yeah. It's fine on normal blast. I guess a one, but it's still splashed fair. down. Okay. And Sunday. Give it a one. Like, again, like, I, I don't want to see it, but I would, like, think about, like, whack. Like, it's not even close. There, there is a splash down at that point. So, like, at least you have something. So, yeah. You'll yeah, have the occasional get a double off it. Like, ah, eh, something. Yeah. Screen! Because the last thing I want with a long-range weapon when I'm trying to follow up my second AoE shot is to not be able to see. That's great. Uh, and then have a <laughs> shitty combo that doesn't work unless I hit 70 damage. Uh, yeah, so it's like an is kind of that's it to me. Sc screen is kind of tough to rank because, like, balance wise, it's bad. Uh, but also design wise, it's probably one of the worst design special like ever. Maybe the worst actually. Yeah. No, not the worst, but like, probably. I, I don't think it's worse than anyway. Ray, but I think it's worse than everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah like Ray, uh, like Bubble, Kraken, like uh, an S one. I mean. Yeah. yeah. But um, screen, uh, probably. I don't know. What do you guys think, honestly? Like, I, I would. I, I don't know. Like, that's the only thing I don't know. Honestly. I feel like with the comps I want with range, I don't want to screen with those comps. Like, I'm, when would I be running things that actually want to screen with my range? I want weapons because... that can combo with me and have a lot of range to poke with it. So, like, I don't the want their screen, vision blocked. It's like the only weapon ever that can grief your team. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I like so this screen is with very close scary. Range. Like I like screen with all these close range shark heavy comps, but I don't want to put it on a comp that's gonna have range because I'm just not gonna be able to see. So I... yeah, yeah, probably zero. Then, also, then. you just can't play it in some tournaments because they didn't fix the sound on it yet. So like, you can't even pick it sometimes at all, even if it was good. It's like, why would I want this ever? It's just mm. a disaster. Yeah, it, I think we said like it was probably gonna get it because of the bubble blower, like. It's I, I replacing hope bubble blower, but I don't. I don't. I'm not I hope it's. That. I'm tuning yeah. that thought out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's probably a very interesting special. Just zero for me. It's a zero. I just, I don't see the synergy. I like it with sharking guns. I like it with things that hit seventy all the time. Range will not do that, and nor would I want to be inside of the screen. I don't think. And seventy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think like in a lot of situations with range, as long as you have the knowledge of where the enemy is, like all of the enemy players, then you're gonna win the game. Because the main weapons just like destroys a lot of the other main weapons. Like the one way you can lose is that you know, people rush you or like you, you start lacking knowledge of where exactly the enemy is and things like that. And that's exactly what screen does, right? So I don't know, like, why I would want that. Like, I guess you can shoot through it or something, but, like, that's not really range. Like, you're not just, like, randomly shooting at things and, like, hoping to hit something. I, I mean, I guess you can, but I don't think it's too successful. So maybe, like, a zero. Okay. Yeah, that's at the bottom. All right. Now we're going to... So we have Slider and Chump, which aren't great, but I think there's going to be a little bit more talk with these. Um, I would give Slider a, a, a zero still, though, for me. Like, I get it can zone cheese... But, like, how am I going to farm that thing fast? I'm not. Like, it's, it's like Splashdown to me, but slightly better of, like, occasional trade button. I just pop it, and then you can, like, AoE combo out of it. But its AoE combo is, like, not even that good compared to S-Blaster Dread. 
Like, S-Blast is in the combo range with the short range mode. Range will be out of it a bit. And then Dread can do that, but with two hitboxes instead of one, which is way easier to hit. It's like, I don't see why I'd ever want a Reef Slider. I don't see what it's supposed to provide to me. And then it sucks on tower control, which is where I would pick this gun anyway. It's like, I, I don't like Slider on it at all. So, for me, like you said, Reef Slider is like the, like a bit better splashdown. For me, it's kind of the opposite. I think it's uh, it's like just worse than Splashdown on Range Master. I, I low-key like... Res I don't think Reef is that bad on like Tetra and Duelies and like short uh, range uh, weapons. But on Range Master, I feel like you're like you're gonna reef side. You're net. You're not gonna have time to sh even shoot uh, after you pop reef slider, or even you're gonna be jumping a lot like as a Range Master, and you have a delay to use a uh, reef slider. So for me, oh, it's yeah, just so zero. Oh yeah, you're using like, the fucking air. Oh no, Splashdown is better. God, I forgot. Yeah. You can't when you're in the air, it like, doesn't like, even start. Oh. Like, like the thing is, the only use I see of Reef Slider is you're gonna Reef Slide, people are gonna run away, they're gonna get hit by the AoE, and you can maybe trade one. But other than that, you can't use it to trade. Like, you can't use it as a panic button. You can't use it to, I don't know, like to, you can't use it for anything. Like, okay, Reef Slide's on, but you're not gonna put spatial power up on, on this. <laughs> <laughs> It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's like it's, the last weapon you'd want to be the zone cheese gun of the team. Exactly. Like for, for me, it's like so so bad. Uh, I, again, reef slider. I don't think it's that bad. But it, on uh, Spartan three, not enough weapons to like go with the uh, reef slider. Except yeah, Dapple and cool. Tetra. Like I, I think it's actually good. Like reef slider is actually good on them. But for range master, zero hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a uh, a one. I like it on Dread, but this gun is not going to farm it, and it's in the air, and I kind of don't want to go deep into enemy base where I can get bombed as a range blaster, or just stuck in the middle of four people as a range blaster. There's yeah. no way I can kill more than one. Yeah, Sandy? Yeah, because when you used Dread Ranker, uh, Kara, uh, like I felt like Re Resire actually had so much value. But it was, it was because you, that's why I felt yeah like it was be it was with the dread like you can paint a lot you can flick like you have two flicks like, I felt like it was good but it's no way on rage I only good. like it on dread it's the I, I don't even think it's that good on dread but like it feels functional on that weapon yeah like I feel like it's consistent a bit somewhat consistent consistent for slider okay yeah. uh, Sandy? Uh, no, I just think it would be the biggest like humor value of all time. Like when the trailer comes out, it like fades in, and then you no, see, no, oh no, my no. god, the CRB, it's back. Oh my, what what space is it getting? And then, <laughs> then you see, like, the, <laughs> and then like we do the like the Asplast reveal trailer with the Reef Slider. Uh, that would be like the funniest thing ever. Like that would be almost for sacrificing the weapon over, but like no, like. Uh, yeah, like the way Nintendo trolls range blasters is world class in execution. Quote from me yeah. last year. <laughs> but it would actually also... hate the customers, like, honestly. Yeah, uh, yeah that would be, be. at that point, I know, like, okay, they just said pay us. But I, I think with Slider, it's one of those things that became a meme that, okay, like, when people, like, want to say, like, bad kit, they just instantly say, like, Reef Slider, which mm -hmm. is not a bit outdated, maybe. Because as you said, it, it really depends on the weapon you get it. Like, I, I think some, with some weapons, a slider kit could be, like, really good, right? Like, Red is, like, one example, but you, you could have, like, come up with other examples where, okay, like, actually, like, this could be, like, a really solid kit. But yeah, range is not one of them. Like, I don't really like this thing where I can't really farm it, and then when I end up using it, I just don't, like, in a lot of cases, I just don't see, like, a very long lifespan for me. Like, I just land in some random ass spot in the map and it's a range uh, uh, like how can the how can how does the game continue from there for me except me dying i think most of that man's gonna die there so it yeah that's, that's a zero right. even reset is good on undercover like you just pop it and then you have shield at the end of it at least like <laughs> yeah okay so super chump Chump to me is like the ultimate. It would be really cool if this special was good. Like if the special was good, yep. you just pop it, you get the instant ink tank refill, you get a ton of paint to move with, you get explosions you can combo off of. Like especially for zones, you know, I guess in the other modes it's not that strong outside of like zones and clans, but if they made it good, 
like power wise that would be so useful like it would be yeah. it's like everything range blaster wants if you're picking a special that like keeps your gun all the time so like you know if it, if trump was like really good this would be a three like i would i would really really want it but the current state of chump uh is not great that being said i think it's better than wave on zones and it has better synergy with range so i would still give it like a two I th if they ever made it good, it would be one of my most wanted specials. And I still kind of like, I, I don't like specials right now for range that are kind of simple. You know, that's my critique of wave and rain and whale and all of that. But out of that group, I think chump is the most interesting out of them because you can kind of play around how they land in unique ways. So I think like, if I am going to get one of those specials, chump is the one I would want. And then if they make it really good, it would especially be the one I'd want. Like, I, I'm kind of a fan. I think it fits range just so well. It's so nice for that. You can launch Chump so fast. It's like, it feels like you just cancel your end lag. Like, at some points. It's ridiculous. I really like Chump on RB. I just, just please buff it. It's such a cool design for a special. Just please yeah. buff it, please. So, in my opinion, like, I never played the special myself because it's on very, very gimmick weapons to say the <laughs> least but what uh, the bow is not a gimmick weapon come on yeah I, 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 i'm just very surprised they haven't released uh, more chumps weapons because i feel like in a casual like casual point of view it's one of the funniest weapon uh, sub, uh special weapon ever like uh it's it's just fun like brand wise you know like they they would they would be able to market it a lot i think uh for me, it's probably a two, because as you said, um, it paints, it uh, deals damage. Uh, it's actually fun to use. Like you can just pop it, and then you can play the game. Uh, the thing is, I just and also like it's good, but not so good that you want to farm it. You know, it's just like oh okay, I, I kill like two guys. I have my special. Okay, I'm just gonna use it. But you're not gonna. It's not like uh, crab, like, okay, like, uh, oh, I have crab, I need to stop to play the game and just use it, you know, yeah. type of stuff. You don't have to worry so about for, it as much. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So for me, it's going to be a two. I played with uh, Fuzzy a lot when he was playing custom uh, scratches, and every time he used chumps, he said, oh, it sucks and shit. But every time I, I was comboing I with it a lot, bad. I felt like... Um, the only reason I'm not uh, putting it to three, it's because of uh, I think it really fucking sucks in TC Rainmaker Clamlets. Yeah, I feel like uh, Chump is other... one of those specials that's better than it looks. Like it, it looks a lot worse than it actually is. I don't. I think. Yeah, it's because it's on very, very bad weapons. It's on Orange Sap, Custom Clash Blaster, Gold Dynamo, and Bow. Like it, I mean, on Bow, it's <laughs> on, yeah, on Bow, it's actually that. not bad. But uh, yeah, like it. it... <laughs> So yeah, like I was playing with the CDS and I felt like I was doing a lot with it because it paints a lot and it's like destructive and stuff. This makes me want to play so, with the Trump weapon in a scrim again. It's been too long. I want to. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's uh, and it's <laughs> and it's enjoyable. It's uh, I don't know, it's enjoyable and and stuff. I I wouldn't hate facing it either. Uh, the only reason not a three is because it kind of sucks in all in other modes, but in zones, yeah, it's good too. I give it a two. Same thing as like Grace said. I just, this is that I just don't think the special itself at the current moment is strong enough. It's just like it's good in zones because of just the way that zones is. It's probably good in turf war. You're not picking range in turf oh, war. Yeah, it's good in turf but like <laughs> it's just like it's good, but it's no one has experience on it. So you can't like say like how good it is for sure, and also it's like you know it's not like the best thing. But it's probably fine on range. You just yeah, pop would, it and I, do if whatever. If they got revealed tomorrow, I would be fine with it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, I'd be fine too. Sandu. You know, let's go with the three because again, I'm not really interested in how good it is right this second. I think that can, <laughs> that can and will still change. But for me, like just how the mechanics. Mechanics work as a, like it's pretty interesting. I think it didn't get a fair chance so far with the weapons it's on. 
and it would be at least like fun to see how it goes. Like, it, and it lets you use pain weapons. So I don't know. For me, like I would like to see it. I, this is true. Oh yeah, let's get jump up there. Underrated. Yes. Okay. Booyah bomb. Um. Uh, I let you guys go first because I'm heated again. I think. I think Booyah is the most underrated special in the game, and I think it's because only Machine is seen with it that people don't realize how good it is. Like, I see people complain about the HP a lot and getting shredded, but here's the thing. Like, you get cooler, you pop Booyah Bomb. They, like, I don't know, maybe they Zuku you. They shoot two shots, they kill you, and you just have, like, 80% of the special, and you just get another Booyah Bomb immediately. It still paints a ton. You can use it to stay alive. It charges your teammates special slightly, which is still an underrated aspect of it to me. Like, it's very flexible. It doesn't take a lot of time to use. Like, you can go back to your gun really quickly. And, like, it's just good. I think it's strong. Like, it's a, it's a good special. Is it, like, something I want on range specifically? It, not really. I feel like it would just get, like, hard outclassed by Machine because Machine also has Fizzy with it, which fits a lot better. It's like, I don't think this is the weapon to get Booyah. And then, you know, S-Blast exists, and I want S-Blast to be fun because I like that weapon, so... I mean, it's still a Booyah Bomb. I can't rank it that low because it's a Booyah Bomb, so I'm going to give it a 2. But it's one of those where it's a good special, I think, but it's not really something that was like super there for RB. I'm really close to giving it a 1, but I think I think other people are going to rank it lower than me, so I think a 2 would be fair because like, it's still Booyah. Uh, Kyo, you got experience with this thing. What do you think? Same thing with uh, I said about Crab. Um... It's a special that would get me to play the weapon again because I just have a special. Like I would love to be able to just, like get one pop Buya and throw it down. Like I would never like I don't really care about farming and like yeah, it takes away my main weapon for a little, like a little bit, but I don't know. It's Buya bomb. It's good. It, it'll always be good unless they like do some weird nerfing things to it. It's like it's it's just solid. Yeah. So you give it a two as well? Yeah, I'll give it a yeah. I'll give it a two. Yeah, yeah. I'm close to giving it a three, but I just can't because mm -hmm. I just, in my head, the, the stuff, like I said, like about Jackpack and yeah. other stuff, it's like uh, I can't really get above that. Okay. Send it. Yeah, I think two is fair. Like, it's Booyah. Like, as you said, it's really good. But, I mean, we have Machine. We have Ass Plus. Like, how many more hey, we of those we need? need? You know, like, how many more of those we need? So it's obviously good. Like if, if machine and as plus didn't exist, it would be a three. But because they do, I would give it a two. Okay. And gray. <sighs> I mean, you you guys gonna get angry, but for me it's a one, honestly. Like all right. Okay, maybe not, but it's for sure not a three. I'm just um like does it okay, I think it matters. My vote matters on this one. Yeah. But um puts it between here and here. The fact that I need, again, to stop playing the game to throw down my Booyah Bomb really makes me angry. And uh, I, the special itself is good, I agree. But what Sendu said, I mean, what you guys said, yeah, we have Ice Blast, we have Machine. I, if it gets revealed tomorrow that it has Booyah Bomb, I would kind of feel bad. I would feel bad. I feel but like it's probably yeah. like it as one. I, I wouldn't put it up here, personally. So, like, if you want my it, input, I think a one is fair. Like 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 Kyo said, it will always be good, right? For me, it's better than Suka or Missile, but <laughs> it's just probably Zipcaster is probably too too high when I think about it. But I probably put it like here, right? Yeah, yeah, pr probably there. yeah, probably this because again, like only Machine has Buya like realistically, and we haven't seen it in a while. So like my recency bias is telling me that it's bad. It's probably not as bad as I. It's probably not as bad as I think. I'm probably very, very negatively biased with Buya. Hmm. But yeah, probably a one. Okay. All right. Try strike. Um, look, try strike's good. You know, it's it's fine. But I don't I don't want this on range. I mean, you can cheese the tower in overtime. You can cheese the zone. But I'm not gonna farm a lot of it. And like, my God, this special is boring. I'm sorry, I played Bucket for a bit. Like, I tried to learn Bucket for a week to see if I could play it after Dread. My god, this special is boring. I, I think this is, like, the most absolute I want to fall asleep and play a different game special I have ever used. I'm sorry, I know really? most people don't find wow. that bad. I find zone cheesing really easy. The lineups are, like, kind of cool, but they just feel too 
it feels like once you know how to line up the strikes and you get it in your muscle memory, you don't think about it at all. It just, you just, I want a line of strikes, so I'm throwing it in a line. I want to cheese the zone, so I'm going to throw a one, two, three. It's just, I think it's just boring. I want something that's fun on this weapon above all else. And like, strike to me is just, I mean, it's, it's good. It's a good special, but it's just not fun to use at all. It doesn't feel fun to counterplay either to me. It's just kind of shoot it if I'm near it, and it's just I, I I'm a big tri strike hater for range. I I like tri strike on other weapons. Like I think it's insane on ZF, like the best special it could have had. But for range and what I want on it, I'm like really biased against it. I'll give it a one purely because the special's good. Okay. That'd be my so. Okay, that's uh, honestly like your take is fair, and I'm kind of the opposite uh, of you. Even though like I think your uh, take is uh, like makes sense. You know, I used to average like 15 strikes per game with Neo Splash, <laughs> and uh, I agree actually that yeah, at first the weapon, the special kind of takes skill like to know what you're doing, and and since you can't swim, like you can't really afford to like just you know click it. You need to uh, be aware of positioning and stuff. But um, if I had to take back, I think I'd put Buya two and strike one. The reason being is that when you use Buya, you're invincible, so you can like kill one and you don't get revenged, and you can pop Buya and live, right? Strike, you can't do that. If you kill one and pop strike, obviously you're dead. You can't swim. You can't even shoot back. Uh, so I think it's worse than Buya. I like the special a lot. I don't. I don't think it's as um, sleep. Uh, how do you say sleep inducing as you say? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I mean, that's fair. Like a hammer for me is like the opposite for you, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I like hammer. Uh, On hammer throw. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I think it's. Uh, I think it's worse than Buya. I give it a one. Okay. Uh, just very. Again, like you have to stop to play the game to use it. It doesn't really do like much with four range blaster especially so yeah probably one okay yeah um okay i don't even like it on bucket i'll be real like it's good like 100 percent, it's good but it stops you from fighting and it's already a problem on bucket and it'll be even more of a problem on the range yeah. right just like i can't go and then like that is your strike is not your continuation it is your main retake tool and bucket can paint so it's fine for it to be your main retake tool. Uh, range Blaster cannot. So you're never even going to have it when you like want to. And then when you get it, it's going to be like, what the fuck do I do with this? I'm too far. I can't. Like, I'm not going to go back and strike myself in. I mean, you can. But like, it's just, it's just worse than Buya in every way possible, I think, for range. So definitely just the one. Okay. Sandu? Yeah, if I look at Metrius so far, like Veil, Jump, Storm. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't really belong there for sure. But like, if it caught it, like I would be interested still. Like, okay, that would be maybe something for DC or yeah. But I guess you guys know more about strike than I do. But maybe that's like two, okay. solid two. We'll get it. We'll put it up with the cooler. All right. So this is I saved the most divisive one for last because I know, <laughs> I you know I really like the special. Obviously, I think Kyo might be a fan as well. I'm not sure. I think Greg. I think Grey viscerally hates the special. <laughs> so, I <laughs> Should think I go first the most or, uh... Yeah, why not? Let, let's have you go first. Go for it. Take down okay. Kraken. So, I'm, I'm not even... Uh, I, I don't even agree with myself here. So, let me explain. 50% of me wants this uh, CRB to get Kraken because I've never played CRB on Splatoon 1. Uh, I think the weapon, when you use it, it's pretty fun. Um, and, like, it's just legacy, right? It's legendary wep uh, special weapon, especially with uh, CRB. So I would I would want to use it, and especially balance-wise, I feel like it's, like, the second best special, in my opinion, uh, for a custom range raster, uh, whale being uh, first, in my opinion. So I would want to have it. And then... The other 50% of me wants uh, Kraken to just be deleted from the game, and <laughs> I feel like it's not as good as people make it out to be. Because why was it good on Splatoon 1? Because you had instant invincibility, because you could kill people uh, very easily, and especially 
when you get out of Kraken, you you uh how do you say that? Like you the start the um, animation like was way quicker, right? So you you could uh and even if you died is after the same your Kraken actually now, but it used to be faster, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. My bad. Then. But even then, if you died after Kraken, you could respawn in one second and don't care about it. Yeah, it wasn't that big a deal. Uh, and uh, on this game, I feel like it's not happening too much. Uh, the biggest thing for me is really like the panic button. It, it's not a panic button for me, Kraken. I, I don't think it really is. The way I see people play Kraken against me in scrims, uh, it, it's kind of lame. Uh, I feel like people just use Kraken just to use Kraken. They don't really make plays with it. Uh, I mean, especially in Clam, but I'm, I'm not even gonna talk about Clam. Like, it's it's not not even for this. I mean, it'd obviously be good in Clam to die Kraken. Just... Yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. but uh, just overall, balance-wise, probably be very good. Good in Rainmaker, good in Clam Blitz, good in TC. Probably a bit worse in zones. I mean, better than Wavebreak, for sure, but I just feel like it, it wouldn't fits as perfectly as you might think. So I'm gonna give it a two. If ev if every one of you gives it a three, I'll give it a three just just for the sake of the TLS. But okay, so you'll give it a two for now. It's we'll it's a two it. for me. It's a it's a high two, as I said, second best special. But it's it's not as perfect as as I think it's gonna be. Okay. okay. Kyo, I'll let you go next. Um. Okay, this. Did you think I would get? You thought I would rate a high, right? Right now. Are you not a Kraken fan? I thought you would, but maybe you're not. Uh, I'm gonna be real. Like me personally, I might be the worst Kraken user of all time. Hmm. Like genuinely. So I don't even want that shit because I'm ass at it. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, dude, same. <laughs> I'm actually. <laughs> like, I, I don't hate like, anyone with Kraken. <laughs> from playing ninety six, it takes like a while to get used to playing. Yeah, Kraken. exactly. Like the learning curve. But seems when you get over the very, learning curve, high. it's so fun. <laughs> but I'll I'll talk about it later. And like, okay, like exactly what Grace said. It was good as one because it was instant. Like you could take my I could take my shot as a CRB, and if I whiff, it's like all right, you can't punish me. I'm just gonna kill you anyway. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. like you can't you can't do that anymore. I, I'm gonna whiff and I'm gonna hit the button. And I'm gonna lose meter and die and lose more meter. It's like a it's like a brute force. I fuck with your resources entry thing or like you like maybe use it when the enemy team's pushing and then you pop Kraken and like fuck with them and like yeah you could probably do that. But like, I feel like brute forcing just like alone into the other side like you're gonna at the end of your Kraken like yeah you could probably direct people out of it. You probably like, go behind a corner and play around that. But I don't think it'll be like so amazing i think it's so nice on gal because like you can like do risky shit and then just wall yourself and then it's like okay now nah, it's kind of hard but like i feel like they'll just run at me when my kraken's over yeah and my gun isn't as fast as it used to be like yeah it's gonna be really it, it would be cool so. like uh, i'm not gonna lie it would be cool and the most fun kraken weapon but yeah in terms it, of viability there's more backline kraken Oh, yeah, it's like just a, legacy. It's just legacy, right? Because all Kraken yeah. uh, weapons in S1 got it back, pretty much. Like heavy sniper and um. Octobrush didn't, and yeah, uh, <laughs> Octobrush didn't. I don't remember what the other one is. But um, Octobrush is like the one thing it would be great on. I think. No, wait, Again, no, did you, did it. it was Octobrush and something else. You, you can't use your run weapon with the Kraken again, so I gotta stay consistent as well. But yeah. I agree with Kira, like it, it makes sense. So two. Oh yeah, L3 was the other one. L3 of Kraken. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. My last <laughs> stand, okay, Kia, are you going with the two then? Or what's your score? Yeah, I'm going with a two. All right. Sandu? Yeah, I think for me, I'm a bit more negative. Like, I mean, you guys said what I was going to say anyway that, okay, people who didn't play Splatoon 1 is that the big difference, and it's almost a different special because of it, is that it's not instant anymore. So, with Splatoon 1, how it works is that you have this. Weapon with incredible potential to basically like slaughter the enemy team. Like they cannot play the game at all. But the downside is that you you do have to hit your shots and stuff. Like, and then you have Kraken that can like remove some of the punishment from that because well, if you mess up, then you Kraken and then you go on. And then there was this mechanism also called like uh, that it would uh, not lose like full uh, yeah, charge. Yeah, but it, yeah. Yeah, light. So it only only lost forty percent as well. Like that was also like uh, unbelievable. But I, I think it's a different game now. I think a lot of like people look at the crack and they're like, yeah, well, that's a good 
G is so annoying. But is that really range, you know? Like, is that really like how you see range? Because to me, I don't, I, I would give it like one point still because I want something that I could try Kraken with. I, I would also want to like try the weapon, like the special out. But yeah, it's not really like, it doesn't really match my, you know, my idea of what range should be like. And I, I do, that would be a separate discussion completely about how people feel about Kraken in this game. I'm not going to go into it now because I guess we already spent quite a lot of time talking, but yeah, for me, it's a one. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to give it a three because, like, uh, but, but uh, a yeah, big shocker, uh, I'm going to give Kraken a three. Um, I like Kraken because I feel like, well, one fun aspect is obviously a big part of it for me. I've talked about how I want, like, a playmaking type thing, and, like, Kraken has enough difficulty to feel hard, and it just is satisfying, like, getting a like a crack and charge where you flick and read someone's movement feels really good. Like having the end lag run out and directing someone feels good. Like I think the special is fun. I think it gives it another way to like, to me it kind of stacks on what range is good at. Like if you get a kill or a double, you can crack him to extend that. If you are shooting at a crab or an HP special, you can use Kraken to fight it as well. Like you can camp a jet recall or kill a crab or something. So it's a lot of, stacking on what range is already good at but also what it's bad at since like obviously you don't paint or anything which i think is inherently kind of interesting to have a special that is different from range but keeps a lot of the same strengths and weaknesses of the weapon but i think the big thing for me is i think that how kraken works in this game works very well with range blaster in particular uh, there's not really a kraken weapon in the game for me that's like a full aggressive weapon that wants to go in with it it's always like either a backline or it's a weird weapon like crack on or it's 96 that switches between being passive and i feel like there needs to be something in this game that actually just is aggressive with kraken and plays mm -hmm. to like using it as a kill streak extender or something instead of being passive so to me it's like i think it's a play style that's entirely missing from the game it's really fun and it meshes with range and it's just yeah i mean it's not a panic button but like i'm kind of fine with it i think it's cool that you need to have some amount of cover near you or direct the first guy running at you to have enough time to get your Kraken and like go with the streak. It feels like it's a lot more fair. And my biggest criticism of CRB in Splatoon 1 is that I didn't like how Kraken felt in that game. Like for as much of a fan of I am of the weapon like and that kit, I don't actually enjoy the kit that much in Splatoon 1 because I don't like how Kraken feels in that game. It feels either like I get out you know i get outplayed and it's my fault or when i get a good play it often feels like it's not fair like did i deserve to live because i popped crack in frame one and then just jumped on the slow up and that can't move me no it, it feels bullshit and i don't like that feeling that's why i don't like using zuka i don't like it when a specials kills feel like bullshit and not like you're a good player and i like kraken in this game because i feel the majority of the time it feels like you're doing a lot of stuff right so a I mean, lot especially out of a bias factor for me, yeah. Mm -hmm. Out of all the weapons remaining to get a kit, a second kit, I think it's only range rather that fits the Kraken, yeah, like criteria. Like you're not gonna give Kraken to Bamboo, like. So I, mean, I hope not. You know, is it like the best special balance wise it could get? Absolutely not. I'm not gonna pretend it's not. It's probably like Crab or Whale are the answers to that, like realistically. And there are other options as I totally like on the weapon, like Chump would be another weird one, where if you want that kind of playstyle these guys have been talking about, where you keep the gun active the whole time, like something like Chump would still be really fun for me. But personally, I would love something that gives me a bit more playmaking potential, gives me a bit more like of a unique playstyle, and just, I don't know, Kraken's just also really fun. It's my favorite special to use in this game. Or like, maybe not favorite, it's like top three with like Zip and Jetpack, so I, you know... My true reasons for Kraken basically are a lot of personal bias with how I like the game and how I want range to be played, and Kraken fits my vision of what I want range to be as a weapon. You know, kind of the opposite of what Sendu has for me. I, like, it does fit. My perfect world is getting CRB with Spot Bomb Kraken and getting Grim with Burst Bomb Chump. That's my perfect Yes! Uh, Burst Bomb Whale, but yes, otherwise. Or Torp Chump would be cool too, maybe. I don't know, but... Yeah, it's not Will, but Chump is like... Get a fourth kit. I like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> so I, w I would give Kraken a three. That would be my that would be my personal ranking. Sorry for the ramble, but I get asked about what I want so much. I want to get this question over with. And I guess that would put Kraken here on the list with everyone's in mind. 
Yes. And that's it. That is everything, finally, ranked. So the best range kit, according to this chart that we made, is Fizzy Whale. Because Whale was ranked the highest out of everything here, if I remember correctly. So. Yeah, Fizzy I'm, Whale I'm sounds OP, I won't lie. Fizzy Whale would be pretty cool. I, I just think Chump is more fun with it. But, you know, we'll, they'll do something interesting to Chump. Watch, guys. Next patch, next patch, they're going to cook with the Chump buffs. I'm calling it right now, if it ages well. I'm calling it here. <laughs> yeah. This this took a while, so thank you guys so much for talking about range blaster stuff for two hours. I appreciate no, no, it. That, that was a question. I liked it. But yeah, that, that fun. that's our list. So thanks for watching, so this everybody. This is pretty good. Yeah, it was fun. Pretty good list.